It's the morning of the 4th of Ness, just as the winter winds are beginning to blow. It's a little chilly out, and as you're getting ready to go about your day, knowing that today is the day, uh, knowing that today is the day, you hear gentle reminders from your parents or whoever else you're staying with to bring your coat, because there's a good chance it could snow. Let's start with some introductions. Uh, Mark, I haven't figured out how to it. Trimlal was born and taken from his mother to be raised by his clan as their custom. Our chief discussed Grimlal. His parent intelligence and fluidity with languages. Your mic is fucked right now. Oh? Your mic sounds fine to me. Really? Because I'm yeah. losing like the beginning and the end of every single word he says. I do have my Discord nose gate higher because people are bitching me at uh, Overwatch. Certain people, Mr. Alex. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm gonna third party this one in because I've not really figured out a voice room yet. Um. Basically, Grimnal is a hobgoblin who is smarter than the average hobgoblin. And no, he does not have a small little bear sidekick. Um, his war chief was feeling threatened, so he cracked his skull open and left him by the wayside in a ditch to die. Arnar Ar Arnama Lastrid, a ranger of Nemathis was tracking this warband and he came across Grimnall in the ditch thinking to interrogate him and find more information about the band she saw to his wounds and uh, healed him up so to speak in the process of interrogating him she discovered his seeming intelligence and lack of guttural grunts and Bidding that usually his kin are known for, and found out that he's effectively been exiled from his family and his clan. And she felt a little pang of, of sympathy as she herself had been orphaned, and she decided to take him under her wing and train him up as a ranger. After extracting a promise to serve her loyally in return for training and giving him a purpose in life, in life, in life, yeah, in life, um, he's been her, her loyal, uh, he is her man. Loyal servant, trainee, what have you. Unfortunately, she's not exactly the best trainer out there. She's kind of scatterbrained and isn't a very good teacher. So his own training is kind of all over the place as a result. Where most strangers might focus exclusively on the bow or on the sword to great exploits, he's kind of a little bit of everything. Something of a switch hitter, you say? Well, pretty much. Um, conversationally, place for both teams. conversationally, he looks horrible with a scarred, vis scarred and burned visage with a giant crack in his skull down his half of his face he's like a horrid thing to look at but fortunately he's able to talk logically and intellectually to get his point across so when he loses his temper the uh the old hobgoblin upbringing kind of comes out a little bit excellent welcome next we should go with Taya. All right, so uh, Taya grew up not really knowing her true parents. You know, one obviously being human, another one being a fire genie. Uh, she was adopted by two human parents, however, who were both farmers. However, farming never really came to her, especially when she would accidentally light the bales of fire or bales of hay on fire. Where she did find her true purpose, however, was in the forge. 
And after many years of mentoring with the town's blacksmith, uh, she feels like she truly found her purpose. However, she also feels like there's something missing. Some adventure that she hasn't yet experienced. And with, after being chosen to go on this quest, she feels like maybe this might awaken her true potential. Um, she's generally a, a pretty calm person, but has the tendency to be a little hot-headed at times. Um, she is a fiery... <laughs> is she a fiery redhead? Uh, she is as in the picture. Uh, I don't know if you can call that a redhead anymore at that point. Uh, she's a fighter. Um, she learned to fight from the blacksmith because he can't really learn how to forge swords and not pick up something uh, along the way. And uh, that's pretty much it. Welcome. On to our friendly neighborhood witch. All right, we have Gideon. Gideon has a nickname of Giddy. Uh, it turns out that the kids like to have a bit of fun at his expense. Um, he is one of the most solemn young, uh, young adults you might want to meet. Um, and very ironically called Giddy, of course. He, uh, he's quite tall kind of slouching all the time. He's uh, like a cross between Ichabod Crane and Snuffleupagus. He just kind of slowly saunters places and uh, is always looking down. He always has uh, his hair covering his eyes. Um, it turns out that the four of you are the only ones he'll actually speak with uh, for any length of time. And even then, you get a bit bored of hearing him because uh, he's always kind of on the down. But other than that, um, he's always going on about his sister when he does get the chance to talk. And uh, he lets you know that uh, at some point during his uh, tough life that his, uh, his older sister, who was always protective of him, um, had made a pact with some sort of power and ever since then, he's not been able to see her, and he has to fulfill some destiny in order to bring her back. That's about it. All right. No. The time has come. No, I hate this. I'm so bad at it. Eve. Okay, you can so, do it. while I sit here and cry, because I've done these 9,000 times, and they've never gotten easier. Um, Eve has quite a reputation around town, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, as she is the daughter of a local man who runs one of those questionable entertainment establishments. Um, she does wear quite showgirl attire, as similar to the woman who she spends most of her time with. Um, but what she actually is, is a sleight of hand magician. Um, however, she makes no effort to put any stop to these rumors. In fact, some people would even say she plays off of them and uses them to her advantage when interacting with the opposite sex. All right. Flirty time. Right, are you done eating, Alex? Is your mouth clear? My mouth is indeed. His focus, though, is questionable at best. <laughs> your time has come. Alrighty. Uh, so... The, uh... What the fuck did I actually name this guy? I picked his name probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Tanithil? Yep. Hold uh. on. Hold on. Let me yell at him real quick. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, Tanithil uh, is just about the most arrogant elf you'll ever meet, uh, aside from probably one of Ali's characters. Um, he uh, was tutored by just about every magic user that his uh, retired diplomat parents could find to try and find just what niche he fit into. 
uh, but could never actually nail down one as, you know, occultism isn't exactly a well-practiced but well-known thing. Unfortunately, through all of his uh, learning, he picked up a very bad habit of finding that just about everyone who taught him was uh, more an idiot than him. Uh, and as a result, he has become very arrogant and uh, self-assured in that uh, they don't deserve the knowledge that they have. Yes, exactly. Uh, so he started teaching himself, and that's actually why he wants to be a part of the Quest for the Everflame, so that he can uh, continue his learning, but on a first-hand basis. All right. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, I'm really bad at these, I forgot. She spends a lot of time with the short change guy who is basically skimming off of all the customers at the local tavern. <laughs> spends a lot of time with him. Oh, lordy. All right. So you go about to finish your chores and finish them quickly because you know at any time the church bells are going to ring. And when they do, your adventure is to begin. But it's still expected of you to do your daily chores. You know, because you're teenagers and parents hate you and how? why do I have to feed the pig again? I'm about to go on an adventure, mom. Hey now, hey now. I'm legal. I'm oh legal. God. Or at least that's what you tell people. What I tell people. <laughs> when the bells atop the temple of Aristeel toll their midday song, echoing throughout the quiet town of Cassin, as the peals begin to fade, the first of the townsfolk make their way into the square, dressed in black as if attending a funeral. They slowly fill the square, moving quietly across the cold, hard ground. Their eyes downcast and mournful. After a few moments, a murmur passes through the crowd as it slowly parts to let Mayor Updol through. He leads the way with a tarnished silver lantern. Behind him, an old pony drags a cart laden with backpacks and supplies. Once he reaches the center of the crowd, Mayor Updol stops and calls out to the assembled townsfolk. Once again, the winter winds blow through the Fangwood making the end of another harvest. There are wolves in the woods howling at our walls and serpents in the shadows waiting to strike. Just as it was 174 years ago when Cassin himself left these walls to protect us, so it is today. Where are the heroes? Where are the brave folk that will venture out to the Cassin's tomb and retrieve the flame to keep this community safe for another winter? So Eve will step forward with a flourish, and she's kind of got that showgirl walk and like the the prom queen way where she lifts her hand up all the way and then kind of twists her wrist. <laughs> Taya will walk into the uh, square with a shield on her uh, on one arm and the other resting on her sword, just kind of calmly looking around at the faces in the crowd. Grimnal with a deep hood pulled over his head, more for the sake of other people than for himself. He'll stride up and growl under his breath. I, I know you do not trust me, but I'll prove that I am just I, I'm worthy of your accolades. Giddy uh, loses his balance and almost falls in front um, of the assembled group. Um, he kind of puts his hand in the back as if he's been recently pushed. You see Holgast, the uh, the old wizard, with his staff raised high as uh, Giddy's been pushed to the center. As he looks back, 
and then slumps his shoulders again. And Tanfil will stalk into the center, uh, kind of looking around at the rest of you very critically, uh, as if to uh, say, without actually having to say it, Jesus, this is who I'm saddled with. Ah, excellent, excellent. Brave souls stepping forward to accept the charge. And which of you will take the honor of carrying the lantern? So if nobody else is going to jump up, Eve will probably jump up first. She's got all that charisma. Dance people follow her. You know, all their eyes lift up at the same moment. Uh, so yeah, he will hand you the lantern. And then he makes like a little nickering sound and that old pony strides forward as he lifts a pack and hands it to you as well, Eve. hand you a book back. She'll take it and notably quite nearly topple over but composes herself just in time. That negative strength mod. Alright. Um, and then he will take his time and check each of the packs before handing each of you a pack. Um, and I will have that information for just a second. Grimwell takes his and slings it over his shoulder, shifting it carefully so that it's balanced upon his back. Taya will sling it over his shoulder like one of those cool kids. Oh dear lord. There we go. Okay. Giddy hugs it like a big pillow. Is it all the same? Uh, no, each one's got something a little different. Okay. Oh man, the game's all tense. Yeah. Healing, rope, these tools, that sort of thing. Not damn. Does that uh, brandy and vial uh, go with mine as well? Right, yep. Okay, just making sure. Um, and then, also in each of your packs, you will find a piece of a map. Uh, let's see here. Gideon, roll me a 1d5. If you look in your handouts, you will see your map piece. Um, Tenethel, roll me a 1d4. Technically, it only needs to be a 1d3, because I mean, once we get the last one, just don't do it loud. Just roll me a d4. <laughs> don't do what Alex says. Wow. No matter how good it sounds, it's probably wow. not right. Wow. Only elves can argue with the DM. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, Mark, roll me D3. Me one D two. My favorite number. Not Mark Tipsy. God damn it. Little Tony tried giving your piece to Mark. And then the last 
piece of corn because it's tired. The Serpent Hills. I should note my character has a tail. I feel like that's an important thing people might know about her. <laughs> it's a tiger tail. It's Easy. a pretty tail. All right. Alex says he pulled my tail and I moaned. It does seem pretty in character, honestly, but I was just quoting stupid memes. Uh, once he finishes handing you the packs, uh, the mayor will once again speak to the townsfolk. I present to you the brave heroes who will follow in Cassine's footsteps to achieve the ever flame. Some of them may not return, but I say to you that their sacrifice shall not be forgotten. Go, brave heroes, and do not return until you have the internal fire. With that, the mayor points to the south, the direction of Cassine's tomb. The townsfolk begin waving goodbye with cold, sullen looks in most, on most of their faces. It would behoove us to move quickly so that we can show that we are competent. My gift's not working. What are you trying to do? Oh, an image link? Yeah, the same thing I've been doing the entire time, but for whatever reason, this one's not working. Because it's the gender and the anime. Uh... Tanithil will kind of look at uh, <laughs> the hooded hobgoblin and look very reluctant as he says, I'm inclined to agree. Come along, man. We can't very well waste his time. Taya will follow behind, kind of nodding to people as she walks by. Most likely trying to uh, either find her parent or her adopted parents or the uh, blacksmith in the crowd. Uh, you you see the your parents or your mentors. Uh, they are all waving goodbye to you. Um, the only mentor that's not in the crowd is uh, Gideon's. He's left already. This won't end well. Lady Lassard, I will put your training to good use and show you I am the best student you have ever had. I will make you proud. Chins up, everybody. It's gonna be easy. I show my mentor how good he's taught me by making that piece of map disappear up my sleeve. Despite the fact that I have no sleeves. Damn, that's <laughs> a good trick right there. Holy shit. I know, right? I'm really good. It, it's between your boobs. Shh. Men don't know that's where we keep our spare change. Why do you think I just said that's a really good trick? Rolling my eyes. Oh, man. So yes, you guys leave town. How do you wish to proceed? Before we go another foot in the progress to this quest, we should compare notes and maps so we do not waste any time in misdirection. Taya will take the map piece out of her pack and show it to the group. Evil sleight of hand hurts back out. Be like, I got a corner piece. <laughs> all right, I guess we're all sharing maps. All right. For all the good it'll do. Here's mine. Ready, you are. Congratulations, you guys have shared map. You are currently at Kasim. And you need to go all the way down the Serpent Hills. Is this path in the region known to me? Uh, you know it's the common path that's being used 
to get to and from the uh, from the crypt. Okay, so this isn't, isn't like some super secret revealed passage or anything. Like people know this uh, no, is here. No, this is just a. They were trying to promote working together. Gotcha. Here's a map. This is a very ritualistic feel of things. Correct. Yeah. Can't uh. you tell? They sent us off. But they do this every year. Well, they don't <laughs> Normally it's the fat man does it. Yes. It may seem inconsequential to those who think less of it, but it is a good first step that we can work together with cohesion. You don't think they left a red dotted line for us to follow, do you? You know, on the ground? It Real seems cool unlikely. There. If Grimnall had eyebrows left, he'd be raising one. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. I doubt they left a breadcrumb trail. Well, you can't leave breadcrumbs. The birds will eat them. We should get going. Okay. Give me survival checks for you guys to be able to follow the map and follow the trail. I don't know why I always do that. Survival's in my senses. Broken branch or the moss on the on the north side of the tree, some indication of where the path could be. Uh, Eve is too busy cleaning her nails. My claws, thank you. Claws, sorry, because you know you're now outside the city. It's dirty out here. Tennessee thinks he sees the path and understands where he needs to go, but is off by just a bit. But Grinnell knows exactly where he's going. It's like, hey, guys, it's this way. Come on. I would like to point out that Taya has never been outside of town, so, yeah, she doesn't know where to go. Well, that's what you get for being homeschooled. Uh, after a couple hours of travel, um, some of your feet are starting to hurt walks this long? Why, why, why are we still walking? Uh, are we there yet? Let's... Uh, when ahead of you, you guys see a log that's falling across the path. Let me grab your tokens. That would be important, right? Probably just a little. And I realize that this map upside down, so you'll have to pretend that you're heading south, even though the picture shows north. Well, worst you have ever. No, Mark! Down here! So, as we are seeing this from down the path further away than just 30 feet in front of us, is it as visually accurate in that it's a tree with absolutely no branches and clean cut and nothing around it? Correct. Okay. Well before we even get close to that, Grimnol is going to throw up the warning. It's like, Caution, something is amiss. No natural undergrowth has that kind of characteristic. Gross. And T will immediately dart off the path into the into the woods and attempt to uh, sneak along. Okay. Taya will rest her 
hand on her blade, getting ready to unsheathe it if necessary. Eve is going to plant a hand on her hip and then gesture to the tree and be like, Lumber is literally one of our big exports, you know, surrounded by a forest and all. Are we really that worried? Somebody just probably dropped it. Her survival instincts are not strong. <laughs> uh, well, either way, he's already. Yourself. Uh, Tenethil's gonna draw his spare blade and also stealth in the opposite direction. Okay. She makes no effort to draw any weapons, as she is always armed. Roll me your strength, or your stealth as well. Yeah, give me one second, I realized I fucked up my I should have prefaced this beforehand, but do we hear uh, anything unusual? Like, is there a lack of birdsong, or... Any cracks uh, and some sudden snaps in the forest? Give me a perception check. Oh, I hear nothing. Because people Can are I? gabbing about lumber exports and... <laughs> um, Tanithiel, it, it doesn't sound any different than what a forest should sound like. That was stealth. Oh, that was your stealth. I'm sorry, yeah. you're sneaky as fuck. It's okay. Um, Hold on. That's better. Okay, Eve. It it sounds like a forest. You hear the birds. You hear wildlife moving around in the forest. Looks like a forest. Sounds like a forest. It's probably just a forest. <laughs> um, but you do catch the scent of pipe smoke. Me? Yep. She's gonna wave her hand in front of her nose. Give it kind of that kitty twitch. And then, well, I mean, there's a smell of pipe smoke. Maybe the logger is still here. What kind of You know what they smoke? say? You know what they say? Hug a logger and you'll never go back to trees. And, you know, pipe smoke, you know. You stuff it in a pipe and then you light it and then... <sighs> I don't know. Sniff it? Tim is just really frustrated that he's stealthing right now so that he can't sigh in like <laughs> explosive exasperation. It's like physically paining him to stay quiet as he sneaks forward. Alright. So as you guys get to about where you're at, truly in the map, uh, the narrow path winds through the raking claws of trees, now bereft of their leaves. So, ignore the leaves. There's, there's no leaves. Um, I couldn't find, like, a winter map that didn't already have snow on it. It pissed me off. Uh, up ahead, a fallen tree trunk blocks the path. Suddenly, a trio of snarl humans, voids, leaps up from behind the log, all greenish skin and fearsome tusk bellowing. Vulgar challenges. What is it exactly again? I'm sorry, I think I missed that part. As three orcs. Orcs, got it. I thought you yeah. said ogres for a second there. I was like, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> orcs are pretty bad as it is, man. Top level! Alright. Oh, yeah. Yes, you caught me on my reading too fast for my brain. Shut up. It's okay. I need initiative. Oh, loud. I'm open game when I'm GMing. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have everyone? No. You like have me. Gideon. Mike? Yeah, I rolled, but I didn't have my token selected. I'll do it again. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Ah, orc number one. Uh, let's see if he sees the two stelters. Fucking 26, get at me. 
You're, you're, I think you're fine. Um, he's gonna jump up. And charge at the lady in the front. Bring it, bitch. Wait, no, there's a lug in his way. Yeah, he's gonna get it to about here. So you meant charge in, like, the flavoring like, how he's running sets. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Okay. I got yeah. scared. The... Ah! <laughs> Eve, you've got an orc running at you. I mean, that's pretty cute and all, but I'm gonna step this way some. And I'm actually gonna shoot at one of these nice flat-footed guys who hasn't acted yet. Okay. With my light crossbow. Okay. As soon as I remember how to use a fucking Pathfinder sheet. I'll get there. <laughs> and I will miss with a three. Wow, look at me go. Look at you go. Yes, your crossbow goes wide and thuds into the trunk of the tree. As free action, she would like to drop her crossbow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Orc number two. Oh, might notice the sneaky ranger. No, will not notice the, notice the sneaky ranger. Uh, so he is going to follow his friend. So ten. Yeah, this is where I think we get. This one over here, though. Oh, I moved the wrong one. It don't matter. They're both up here. All right, we're good. Gideon. All right, Gideon is going to, uh, to look at this work over here and try to um, to make him a bit drowsy. He's going to hex him. Okay. Uh, what do I need for that? It is a will save. Uh, DC 15. So you hex him. You look right at him and said, nope, it's time for nap time. Nothing happens. Now he's worried. Can I have a will save from you, please? Absolutely. That doesn't work well. Okay, okay, okay. One second, everyone. No love for the ladies. What? Did I miss something? I probably misheard. She just said, hang on. Okay. Did I- was I supposed to roll something? No, 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 no. no okay. No. Mark confused me when okay. he said no love for the ladies. All right, so uh, at that, he is going to run straight forward with his staff in hand as if charging upon an imaginary horse. What? Okay. Uh, we'll save from everyone else, please. I am confused. Now I am part of everyone else, right? Yes. Null is officially confused as he's watching this <laughs> through gaps in the trees. Uh, uh so oh, spaghettios. Everyone else thinks Gideon's fucking crazy. He just fucking charged those orcs. What the fuck is he doing? But Tanithil, you've noticed something going on. And I will whisper you. Okay. Alright. Taya. 
Alright, Taya is going to go ahead and charge forward. Let's see how far I can move. Uh, she's going to run around to right about there. She will get an attack a lot, remember. Okay, go ahead. I'm only letting you know because you're new. So, you're newest to the game. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, 19? That will hit. How do you roll uh, free action speaking? Oh, uh, you can speak at any time. It's not real, you know. As you take 12 damage. And oh. if I can get another will save from you, please. Okay. <laughs> not real, she, he says. <laughs> <laughs> As he's basically one shot. Wow, you have quite an imagination. Alright, so Taya, you charge this thing. You run over to it, get ready to get behind it. It flashes out with its great axe as Gideon's yelling you, It's not real! Your entire body tenses as the great axe hits you and you just know it's gonna hurt. It didn't hurt. In fact, you look down and there's no blood. You didn't get hit. What? The, what? what? <laughs> Take the 12 health back. As this happens, uh, the three orcs disappear. And you guys hear laughter in the woods. Can we tell what direction it's from? Uh, north. It, it sounds like it's going away. Gotcha. Alrighty, I guess we're gonna keep going on. Taya will shake her fist in the direction of the laughter and demand that whoever is laughing come out and face her. If possible to do so, Grimnall would love to check for tracks to see if he can pinpoint where this laughter was coming from and if they're like well and truly out of the area or if they're just hanging around being quiet Eve on the other hand is going to scoff like 20 gold that it is the butcher's boy and he's a little pot of your friends playing tricks on us that was no butcher boy that sm smells of magic I don't care who it is. I want them to come out and face me. Mm, nothing. You, just regular forest sounds. As Tinnithil steps out from the bush. Uh, whomever it may have been is neither important nor necessitates waiting. We should be going forward. It was probably just some distraction or delay. While I'm inclined to agree, we should be careful going forward. There's no guarantee that we won't run into that or worse again in the future. And really, whatever you are with the flames in your face, <laughs> you shouldn't be so brash. Honestly, you really think it's going to come back and fight you? Come on now. Hey, it could happen. And with that, um, something else interrupts us. Um, Grimnall will lead the group forward again along the, the marked path. Excellent. Being just a little more observant to watch the uh, surrounding areas than he was before. So, not too terribly much more. So, after dealing with the illusionary orcs, you're able to travel for most of the day in peace. 
long. It's actually, despite it being cold, it's a pretty good day for a hike. The sun's shining, the air is clear. Uh, after the initial exhaustion from walking for so long, you start to pick up more. Uh, you get that second win. Go ahead and give me another survival check. Okay. What kind of what time of day is it approximately? Um, it's getting toward the end of the day now. Uh, the sun is starting to set, and you're starting to believe that it's about time to maybe set up camp. The, the sun goes dim. We need to find shelter. We have, like, tents and stuff. Does that count as finding shelter? I won't shelter you from a hungry bear or wolverine. Or even just an angry badger with a chip on their shoulder. We need real shelter, caves, safety. Throat lodgings is. <coughs> hey man, you're the one doing the voice. You did it to yourself. Um, as you mentioned caves and that kind of thing, uh, with that survival check though, you know there's no cave structures in the area. Clearly we need to camp up a tree. Don't bears live in caves, though? Um, everyone... Uh, just gonna use the last one. Um, so Grimmel and Eve. After looking around for a good place to set up camp, because you guys were given tents and a lovely uh, winter blankets, uh, you guys are able to successfully find a very nice flat piece of ground that's surrounded on all sides by trees. This will make a good spot as any. At least the ground is clear and free from deadfall. Looking over at Taya, no chance of setting the forest ablaze. Only if you make me angry. Then I shall endeavor to teach you meditation. Meta what? Never mind. There's uh, plenty of dry wood around, so you guys are able to easily make a fire. Uh, if you guys work together, you can... Make a nice stew out of the rations that you've been given. Keep yourself warm in the inside. Does it use up a day's rations for everybody? Yes. Okay. While Grimnall is gathering up firewood, he keeps an eye out for any kind of fresh game. Bear conies would be an awesome addition to the stew. Someone should uh, figure out how to collect some morning dew. Into a like a pot or something, cough, cough. Listen, I ain't that kind of normal. Yes, but we have a ranger with a lot of survival. We can help us collect dew so we don't run out of water ever. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys go about your day. Um, Grimmel, you do find a rabbit, kill it, skin it, add it to, add it to your stew. So now your guys' stew has some fresh meat in it, and Grimmel now has a uh, small bit of rabbit skin. Yeah, so, so Grimmel comes back with an armful of firewood and uh, a bit of twine slung over her shoulder with uh, a pair of uh, young rabbits dangling in front and back. And as he throws the fire uh, wood down next to the, to the stones that someone else has set, he just proceeds to cut into the back of the rabbits and just tear the the fur and skin off them. 
like it's something he's done a hundred times over. Taya will kind of just stew or stir what, it, what there is of the stew at this moment. Play for a bit. You know, it would be wise to set up a watch so that maybe, you know, we don't get attacked by orcs in the middle of the night, or, you know, our tents set ablaze when someone happens to roll over just a bit too much. I hope we'll glare at you. Xenophil okay. is just basically permanently glaring at all of you, so I mean, that's fine. Looking he's over. permanently making eyes at all of you, but then you realize slowly that that's probably just her face. Looking over to Tanithil and, and fingering his own, uh, like, scarred, chewed-up ears, pointedly, he's like, Your kind don't need much sleep, do they? Perhaps um, it would benefit us all. That's not if... a Pathfinder thing, bruh. No? That's... That's only in 3.5 books of theirs. The Elves of Galarian book is the only one that makes reference to that. And that was one of their 3.5 splat books. Hmm. I'm immune mm. to magical sleep effects, and that's like it. I was sworn they had the four hour thing going. You no. Know? Never mind. Or three or whatever the fuck. Basically, mm -hmm. it's um, DMP, not Pathfinder. You guys, y'all do hear that, right? I will say as she sets up her tent. Not in the least, we're too busy arguing. Can't you see that? Would you mind? Sure, Peyton. You can you can look around. Since the no one seems jumps to off be of your shoulder. Since no one seems to be paying attention to Taya, she'll kind of wander the perimeter, looking for the direction the house are coming from. Eve, on the other hand, just assumes that this is normal and that everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, they I, won't bother us. We have a fire going. Ryder, if you're doing background noises, just be aware. I'm not going to hear that stuff. Oh, it's just howling wolves. Okay. We'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. What, the, what did Mark, I miss? Mark just ignores when you put hard work into the sounds and stuff because he's a jerk. He, it's true. Uh, what can I, I tell you? I must say, very effective use of them. Oh, what can I tell you? Even the stuff that's supposedly copyright safe isn't, so... No more okay. chances. It stays off. So while you guys have been preparing dinner and arguing and eating, uh, you guys do hear the sound of wolves around you. They're, they're off in the forest. You know, just the typical, it's nighttime, it's time for them to go hunting. Alright, uh, well, Xanathil will look around the group as Taya is busy wandering the perimeter and mention again, we should create a watch at some point. Uh, should I just. First take watch, Dibs! Second, then. <laughs> I'm good with being on watch. Taya will call from the perimeter. Yeah, pick one, there's five of us. Alright, so let's roll in order. Uh, Eve, go Eve. ahead and roll your first watch. My perception, yeah? Yep. Okay, and then Tanil said, you said second? Yep. Nice, nice. Who's third? Taya will be third. Okay, roll it. Nice. Giddy, you're fourth. Here's where it all goes down. Coming up. Getting all those 20s out. That that wisdom score, though. That negative one to wisdom. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> How about Peyton? Does she get a, uh... Does she get a roll? Do you know what? Yes. Peyton will get a roll. Hold on. Let me go get her sheet. Well, no. If it's his from now, gets his sheet. You, that's what you think it is. Okay, listen. <laughs> fucking special snowflakes. <laughs> As opposed to any other character we've ever rolled up. Don't worry. Paint's just as distracted as you are. 
Hey man, I know the secret. I thought you were supposed to be I believe watching. I helped to name that character. <laughs> it has not been lost on me. Alright. So, as you guys bid down for the night, and Eve takes watch, uh, at the edge of the firelight, At the edge of the firelight appears a skeleton. Oh, wait, a lone a raccoon. Wolf. I know it looks like a raccoon. It totally it? does look like a raccoon. It looks like a fat wolf. Sad. To, be, to be fair, to level one characters, a raccoon will fuck you up. That's true. Rabid raccoon. Game there. Over. There we go. It's fixed. Long wolf. That is sad. Some of these tokens are really fucked up. Uh, so yeah, she fight a wolf. Uh, it's an accordion wolf. He approaches your camp slowly, sniffing. On whose watch? Your watch. My watch. Um, can I grab a stick from the fire and start swinging it at him? Sure! I, I just want to scare it away. Okay. Uh, so you start swinging your stick badly, and it looks up at you, gives a slight growl before it turns around and runs away. Damn right. I'm the firebender. Master of illusions. Add that to my show. Please shut up, we're all trying to sleep. Even the mean time is now twirling a flaming baton. <laughs> oh no, now there's two of them. Waiting for you to okay. fumble that and land on someone's bedroll. I have um, a lot of sleight of hand. Fight me. <laughs> Tanithil! Yes. During your watch, you hear... Something approach. Okay. Uh, like you, like you can hear something moving in the brush, and you hear a branch break. Alrighty. Um, I will take a moment to use my what in the fuck is this thing called? Hold on, I'm very new to occultist, so I'm trying to get the names down. Uh, I'll pop my legacy weapon just in case, and draw my sword. Uh, but I have dark vision, so hopefully I can actually see what the fuck is going on. Uh, that's right. You do have dark vision. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold this um, shit yeah, everyone go ahead and move yourself to where you would have been sleeping around the campfire. And where you would have kept your watch, Tenethil. Uh, okay, I'll wait for everybody to move and then I'll do it. I remember winter blanket. <laughs> oh uh, Are you guys all sleeping there? Where you're at? Yep. I think so. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess it gets really that. toasty during the night. But that's okay. It's a nice dark contrast between the uh, cool winter chill. Uh, um, so I guess I'll be here. Okay. As you look around. You can see these guys step through the bushes. Uh, alrighty. Um, yeah, that looks like fun. One wolf. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here's an idea. Hold on, let me check the range on this. Come on, honey. Solo all three. Fucking watch me. No, uh, give me a second. Hold on. I'm just trying to find the range on one of my abilities that just shits out a skeleton real fast, which is really cool, and I want to scare the bejesus out of these wolves, but um, I need to find it is the issue. <laughs> there we go. Uh, 
it doesn't say, so I assume it pops up next to me. Alrighty. Well, in that case, I am just going to pop out a skeleton. Basically, uh, Tanifel, as he's drawing his sword, kind of snaps the fingers of his, his free hand, and out from the ground uh, beneath it, or beside him, uh, claws skeletal fingers, and after a so, uh, three seconds of a standard action, uh, there is suddenly a, uh, a human skeleton standing beside him and rattling ferociously at the walls. Rattle, 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 rattle. Spooky, scary skeleton. Yeah. Um, um, I think it gets to move. Like, it just takes a standard action to pop the guy out, and it doesn't say anything about, like, it moves on your initiative or anything, so it's up to you. Is it a specific action to command it to do something? Nope. It just, it's there. It's like a basic summon monster then, really. Alright, let's fucking roll. Raw, bitch! Alright, so hold on. Pull him back. Okay, sorry. Let's go ahead and... Get an initiative. Since you are gonna attack. Elf versus the wolf. Uh, while we do that... The rest of us are still sleeping, right? Yep. Damn, son. I mean, I'm not actually trying to attack them, honestly. I was just trying to scare them off with a big scary skeleton that, you know, runs at one of the wolves. But I guess we'll do this then. Yeah, everyone go ahead and roll. We'll just scoop all of you if you're sleeping. Um, Tantho, go ahead and roll me a nature check. I have, maybe I have that, I'm not so sure if I have that. Uh, whether you have it trained or not. Oh, okay. I don't have it trained, so here goes. I'm bad at life. Very good. That's all you needed. Oh, okay. Uh, as these wolves emerge and you summon out your skeleton, uh, you notice that these wolves are lean and starving. Accordion wolves, you say. Got it. Accordion wolves. Alright, so Eve's sleeping. Uh, can, you sleep. can I take a free action? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I take a free action to uh, kind of clear my throat and announce rather loudly that there are some starving wolves that want to eat us? Sure. Alrighty. Alright. So, Eve. You hear Tennessee like, screaming about wolves. Do I? Are you sure? I take a minus 10 to my perception. Alright, go ahead and roll your perception. Let's see if you hear him screaming. I'm trying to sleep here. Bitch, I don't think no. I hear him. That's a negative no. three? <laughs> you're, you're fine. I'm, I'm one of those sleeping. sleepers who wears the earplugs, has the eye mask, you know, has some of that face cream on every night, got my hair in curlers. I ain't hearing shit. Okay, uh, wolf number one is going to go for the easy game. Because I'm in a tent, I'm in a tent, I'm in a tent! I'm not easy game, I'm in a tent! You're in a tent? I'm in a tent, I have a tent, I'm using my damn tent! <laughs> Who's using their tent? Not I. What? I would. Yeah, pretty much everybody who's not on watch. Except for Mark for some reason. Alright, cool. Fucking special snowflake. He's going for the easy game. What? 15. You sleep in armor? Um. Uh, yeah, what does the unconscious do to your ducks? None. You have none of it. Yeah, you have no decks. If you're out of your armor, you don't even have your armor. Light armor, as uh, Tipsy pointed out, doesn't need to be removed. Alright, so you're good. He misses. Let's see. No, it's a negative five to dexterity. So, uh, well, dexterity is already not added to it. So. 
Well, it's a negative five to your deck score, not your mod, too, so remember that. Um, let's see. So, 14 AC. You're fine. Uh, the, it misses you. Okay. Um, so the other three are intense, right? <laughs> Everything's so intense. I'm definitely awake as this thing is chong, chong, <laughs> gnawing <laughs> on my uh, chain. <laughs> that was He's funny. He's gonna go for. The, he's gonna be a cliche wolf and go for the skeleton. Gotta get that bone. And he's gonna completely miss. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> as a as a free action to gain not on, can Grimdall shout out a warning? Uh, since the wolf tried to bite you and missed and grabbed a handful of your blanket, and you're suddenly cold. Um, you would wake up. So is that because... warning, just out of curiosity, would that warning happen to be, Jesus fucking Christ, there's a wolf? <laughs> huh? Uh, Taya, give me a perception check. Let's see if you hear these guys shouting about wolves. Yeah, with a four, I don't think so. So you're sleeping soundly in your tent. Gideon! Can you hear them? I sure hope so. Let's see. What do you think? Uh, sleeping uh, Raven? Sleeping and the raven is sleeping as well. Not doing a very good job at protecting. <laughs> not, not even slightly. Tannisiel, the only one of your partners that have awakened is Grimnall. Oh, I knew you were all useless. And Tannisiel steps over to the legend of Jesus out of this fucking wolf. Hopefully, uh, let me double check that I have more Yes. All right. Fuck you. Very nice. You smack this wolf roundly on the rump. Uh, then the skeleton is also going to punch this guy in the face with a claw. Uh, let's fuck you. Alright then. Yeah, the skeleton misses. Uh, but. Oh no, he's not close enough. You're good. Fuck you. Gimno, you're awake on the ground. There's a wolf overhead. Okay, one sneaky. Setting up a prone status. Okay. Um, Grimnall uh, grabs the longsword that is along his bedroll and using it to you know, brandish in front of the, the snarling wolf, uh, he attempts to defend himself while he stands to his feet i.e. full defense and then standing okay so it's gonna try to attack you yep. full regular AC he will just barely miss he definitely has the, your blanket now like I don't think your blanket's gonna survive man And finally, this wolfie. Let's see here. Who does he want to go for? The skeleton or the elf guy? Skelly! Man, that skeleton's boned. He's gonna come. Oh, here! God damn. And he's gonna try to eat the skeleton. Ooh, what do you see? It's AC. Alex. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I was watching the dumbest fucking video that Allie just found in that gift that she linked. What did you say to me? <laughs> focus, man, your, focus. What's your skeleton's AC? Oh god, I have no idea. Hold on one second. You activated my trap cards. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with it's probably what's normal for a skeleton, so 16. Alright, that'll miss. Alright, Eve, I'm giving you another perception check, but this time instead of a negative 10, negative 5, because there's definitely some commotion going on out there. Alright, I got this, guys. I believe in me rolling in another sub 5. Damn it! I'm awake! You wake I'm up <laughs> to the sound of wolves uh, growling and skeleton bones rattling. All right, well, I guess I'm going to stand up and exit my tent. Yeah, I'll just say you're in the same square because it makes complete sense, right? Well, technically, if I was coming out of my tent, it'd probably be right here. All right, we'll do that. And... That's a move action, stepping out of my tent, opening my tent. That's probably all another move action. It's all here now. the same. Yeah, there you go. Double move action, you're out. Yeah. See everything that's going on. Lovely. All right, skill. Uh, this one is not happy with you guys, but it's really hungry. But seeing as Tanny so is the one that bumped it on its butt, gonna try to take a chunk out of the elf. Well, that's fucking weird. It's and it'll miss. As it's still got tatters of blanket in its mouth. Uh, time for the skeleton. Actually, does it want the skeleton or does it want its new tasty tiefling treat? Uh, Eve is one. He probably looks terrified just like that. There you go. Uh, that'll miss. Hey. Hey. Taya, give me a perception. Nope. <laughs> Welcome Taya to level is one character. Out. <laughs> Gideon! Perception. This can't. Uh, so that'll be a five, and that'll be a two. So you're still asleep. Very, it's nice and warm. You're right next to the fire. It feels great. This motherfucker got the soundproof tent, and we're all just in like <laughs> bullshit cloth tents. What the fuck? Tent <laughs> feel. Uh, fuck this wolf in particular. Just kidding, I'm gonna five foot to do that actually from there, so I have flanking. Oh, it's a good thing you know how flanking, because with flanking, this wolf is dead. You have beat the wolf to death. Sweet. Uh, the skeleton, on the other hand. He's gonna try and punch the guy on the left. On the left? Yes. Okay. Get fucked, dude. How much Let's damage see. does it do to the poor Woofy? Oh wait, he has two claws. I can do that again. No, I cannot. <laughs> that much. Damn, nice. nice skeleton. Your skeleton's claws rick across its snoot. He pooped him good. That's my tent, it's nice. Give no. The wolf in front of you is dead. Um, so, seeing uh, this one remaining wolf. We got two. Oh. Okay, so seeing this wolf standing right next to Eve, 
who's still uh, crawling out of her tent. Uh, he's going to grip his long sword in a two ha with both hands and run charging at this wolf with it overhand, ready for a chop. As he just snarls. Please roll one. Please roll one. Please roll I would laugh so hard. Nice. That's even better than a one. Mark, you <laughs> fucked your macro. <laughs> Arg. Oh, you didn't roll one. Uh, but you do chop the wolf in half. Oh, holy shit. What did I do? Wolf's dead. Sorry. I'm just trying to... Yeah, it's all good. I missed the thing that does it automatically. Right, it's that. What thing? Uh, Frankie's stuff that when it hits negative whatever, it puts the X on it. Oh, okay. I can load it. <laughs> hey! Anything else, Gimnal? No, no, that's, that exhausts uh, his options. He basically just sits, stands there, swinging over to the right, um, to the skeleton, uh, standing over Eve, defending her from this undead horror that has risen in their midst. Okay, let's see how hungry this wolf is. He's pretty hungry. He's not smart enough to not run away. All right. Time to eat the skelly. Oh, oh no! He's eating the skelly! Roll him one. Roll him one. For three damage! Holy shit, he's alive! And, but it's not tripped. God damn, I am amazed this guy survived more than one hit. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf lashed out with its teeth, grabbed a hold of its leg, and started to shake. But he was able to stand firm. Eve! Okay, I'm gonna creatively get over without provoking. Let's see if I can manage. No, I can't do it creative. Hold on. I gotta start again. Hold on. Hold on. I got this shit. What's your movement speed? 30, and I'm gonna have to acrobatics to try to not provoke. Hold on. I got this. I got this. <laughs> I got this, right? Did, did, did I do it? Did I avoid CMD? provoking? Yeah, CMD. You did it. You did I it. I did it. You did it. All right. Go. Yeah, that should have some flanking on it, which makes it a 13 and a fucking 10. Kill me now. <laughs> so neither of those hit. I don't know why there's two damage things rolling, the damage and the BN dev stuff. That's... Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah. Everything's fucked. Uh, this one's dead. This one's dead. <sighs> Daya, try again. I believe in you. Hopefully. No. No. Man, you guys are no. over here lamenting the fact that you don't wake up. I'm over here like, can I get one of their <laughs> fucking tents? God damn. Gideon. Let's see if this is worth waking up for. Found it. We're good. Maybe. 
They don't really spell it out, but as far as I can tell, it's a DC 10 to hear combat going on around you when you're sleeping. Yeah, sorry, dude. You're asleep, so is the Raven. Good night's rest. <laughs> Tanithil! Uh, well, Tanithil has already uh, taken out one bad dog today, and so it's, uh, it's time. He will charge and go, what's up, bitch? Not actually, that, that probably isn't very in character at all. Ah, oh, damn it. No, not enough. Close. But no cigar. I tried. Oh, right, skeleton. Duh. Skelly. Uh, first one will miss, but the second one will hit. Get fucking wrecked, nerd. As he boops the snoop. The skeleton is the best skeleton. <laughs> Give now. So, I have a character. Point of order question. Did we know each other beforehand? Small town. And would oh, we no, be freaking? And would be freaking out about the skeleton in our midst. Most people probably would, yes. Although I guess I probably should have had Tanithil when he rolled up on this wolf the first time to try and slash at it. Go, if you could not hit my grandfather, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, seeing that the skeleton does not seem to be immediately threatening, he's going to look at it very warily with his sword raised in front of him, ready to strike out at any moment if it pro provokes him. But he will step away carefully to get behind this wolf. Flanking from every angle. And try to whack it in the ass. Hey, you worked! <laughs> whack it, you do, as the poor wolf breathes its last breath. Hungry guys. Jeez. You're hungry from wolf? No, the wolves are hungry. Ah. They were starving. You guys look like an easy meal. Alright, well, Tenafil uh, quickly moves to wipe his blade off on the wolf's, uh, or at least a portion of the wolf's, unbloodied fur, and then steps over and uh, embraces the skeleton and says, Thank you, Grandfather. You may rest again. And the skeleton promptly just falls away to dust. Grimwell lowers his blade, looking very confused and wary. It would be best if you explained yourself with details, human. Uh, elf. Knife here. Uh, so Tanithil kind of looks over. What the shit are you doing? Like he dance. sleepily goes back to her tent, <laughs> mumbling and grumbling the whole way. Almost falls like, the fire twice. <laughs> I was say it's like victory dance. <laughs> no, drunken, drunken, but really just sleepy. Uh, so Tanithil quickly explains that um, he has been uh, basically forced to teach himself all manner of magics uh, using this uh, incredible book that he has. He's basically got it on like a chain strapped to his belt. Um, and it's a great big tome. The thing is like thicker than his arm. It's crazy. It's a spell book if there was ever a spell book. Uh, but he, he shows it to Grimmel. It doesn't actually open it. He shows the, the front uh, leather bound cover and like all the engravings and you know magical nonsense on it. And explains that he's been having to teach himself uh, magics for a while now and he started to pick up on some very interesting things uh, but for the most part he doesn't intend any you know, ill will toward anyone he's not gonna uh, be commanding legions of the undead he just uh, managed to contact his grandfather's spirit at one point and it uh, gladly agreed to assist him if he is ever in trouble Were it anything but your honored ancestors return to battle to assist their kin, but strike it down. 
Do you seem honorable enough? Not to mention, I saved you from that wolf. Yes. As you guys discuss this, Taya, you wake up for your shift. All right, Taya will emerge from her tent, stretching her arms over her head with what would be the flame equivalent of bedhead, and look around at the campsite, noticing the three dead and sliced in half wolves, and just kind of stare in amazement at the scene, waiting for someone to give her an explanation. Uh, well, when you exit your tent, Tannafil kind of glances over and goes, Ah, my shift's over. It's your turn now, rookie. And goes to bed. Like he's not a rookie himself. Well, yeah, but he's now, so he's supposed to be a pompous piece of shit all the time. <laughs> no. And I'm assuming everybody else is asleep. Yep, except for Grimnall, he's still sitting there unless he's going back to bed. Uh, his, his watch is coming up soon enough as it is, so he'll uh, set up skinning these wolves for the next hour at least. Yeah, you need to replace your blanket. It's It's gone. Well, that ripped up. Your blanket's in chatters. Alright, fine. I'll be back <laughs> if uh, no explanation is given, then Taya will just idly poke the fire and, uh, Examine her surroundings. While he's sitting here skinning these wolf pelts, gutting them, you know, preparing them for a meal, and setting the uh, the skins out on a, a few twigs uh, and branches to to dry, so to speak, um, he's gonna mutter under his breath to quietly so everyone else can sleep. I hope you enjoyed your beauty sleep. The rest of us were in mortal peril while you dozed. Hopefully you'll be fault. more aware of your surroundings in the future. Hey, it's been a long day. Why didn't y'all come over and wake me up? Tried. Really, I felt no shaking of my tent. All right. Does uh, anything happen on my watch? Uh, nope. <laughs> at, at that, no, I was drawing a sheep. At, okay, at, that, at that very yeah. last reply, Grimnall will throw a, a still somewhat bloody haunch into Toy Taya's laugh into her lap. Shake that on the fire if you're up. What was that? Grimnall yeah. throws a still slightly bloodied wolf haunch into your lap and tells you brusquely to put it on a stick and put it on the fire. You guys are having mutton for breakfast. He is he is not Terribly amused. Gideon, no one ever woke you for your shift. I noticed that. What? Hang on, when was his shift? His shift was between Taya's and Gimnall's. Wow, those But crowds. Gimnall stayed up. So. Well, somebody's gonna be tired tomorrow. That's fine. Gimnall will uh, deal with it. Eve, on the other hand, had beautiful dreams. Grimnall will be slightly fatigued. See my beautiful dreams? Yes, I see it. It's pretty. Sheep jumping over a cloud and moon and stars. Yes. I didn't see any of you guys having good, beautiful dreams like this. Grimnall's dreaming of uh, wolf haunches. Very tasty. No, it's not. Not at all. Taya is muttering, muttering in her sleep. The rest of the night passes peacefully. You wake up the next morning uh, feeling well rested and there's wolf meat on the fire you guys have breakfast with. Eve!
Eve will just go ahead and eat that. And then probably when someone points out what it is, do that thing where she just kind of stops. And then the meat just falls out of her mouth if anyone tells her it's wolf. What are you doing? Don't waste food. It's good protein. It'll keep you walking the rest of the day. They try to eat us. It's only fitting that we eat them. Oh, and it's very lean, because they were on the point of starvation. I was about to say, they probably were, were pretty lean. And chewing, and chewing, and chewing, and chewing. <laughs> Gamey! <laughs> It's like we made wolf jerky, but it's, you know, it's fresh. It's jerky fresh without jerky. the salt, which is nasty. <laughs> Still a little hair on this one. Um, whatever remains of the, the meat, uh, cooked or otherwise, Grimnal will wrap up in the remains of his bedroll and tuck it in the bottom of his uh, rucksack. Snacks for later. Jipping if the... there's anybody who isn't asleep, Taya will go over and wake or shake their tent and tell them to wake up. Uh, when she shakes his tent, Tanithil kind of like rubs awake and, and rubs in his eyes and then looks at you and goes, Oh, you're one to talk. It is not my fault. Or that uh, Ty will most likely go shake Gideon's tent as well if he isn't up by now. Yeah, he came and had uh, a, a bite to eat, but then he went back to bed for a while. Ah! Well, that's the bird. Uh, Tannehill then gets up, uh, grabs some some breakfast a little bit reluctantly considering what it is and uh, sits down to do his hour of prep with his spellbook which is not actually a spellbook but you know his bonded tome Eve will spend her morning trying to run her fingers through her hair uh, there is a grooming kit conspicuously missing from her pack all very crying for her at this point she can't even look at her own reflection um, but she's desperately trying to get the tangles out of her hair now make sure her face looks nice. Hey, the town provided you with your thieves' tools. That's true. Uh, she'll grab some ember rock stuff from the fire and try to get some coal going on to put around her eyes. You know, give them that smoky look. <laughs> she doesn't know that there's a difference between coal and coal. Right. K-O-H-L, C-O-A-L. I mean, what's the difference? It's a little rough to get on, but once it's on, you look great. You get a little dab of water, actually, and you rub it down, and you can do it pretty well. And I totally don't know this from experience or anything. <laughs> You're not really sure how, but somehow Taya is able to make her bedhead into something presentable. Well, yeah, it's all fire, so literally you just kind of think for a second and then you're fine. Shh, you're not supposed to know that. <laughs> Most people, you know, dunk their head in the stream or something to wake themselves up. You dunk your head in the campfire. You have to settle for that muscle. Oh, mussy hair. Oh, lordy. All right, once breakfast is finished, you guys do your morning thing. Pack up. Get ready to leave, and if I can get another round of survival checks. Oh man, I'm so lost. good at this. So <laughs> good at these. So, Worst Tanithil gets elf up. Ever. <laughs> never, doesn't even look at anyone else, just starts walking north. Uh, as he's walking that way, both Grimnall and Taya notice he's walking the wrong direction. Grimnall's up ahead a little bit, like, that's that's all on Taya. <laughs> Taya got the second best sleep of the night, and she is ready for this. Grim is just kind of trudging along a little bit, his feet are heavy. 
He's not being nearly as stealthy as he usually is. Every direction gets us closer to our doom. Is anybody gonna yell at Tanitho? Nah, peace, y'all. I'm out. He's going home. Fuck you guys. <laughs> He's gonna go back and be like, I can't do this with these assholes. They're all idiots. Especially the flame-headed one. Yep. Gray Lake? Is that what you're putting there? Yes. <laughs> oh, after a few moments, Tennessee, you do notice that no one's following you, and look around and notice that you went the wrong direction. Uh, well, he, he kind of grumbles. He's like, God, what, son of a... Fine. Then turns around and tries to catch up with the rest of them, if that's at all possible. I have no idea if I can even get lost. Uh, no, you're, you're fine. You'll find okay. you see them. All right. I'm not gonna make you guys go on a hunt for the next hour trying to find Tony Phyllis who's walking in. I think that's a grand idea, though. Circle. <laughs> not for the elf. Tayo would not <laughs> let him live that down. Well, the I guess elf... it's a good thing you didn't say anything. The elf lost in a forest. In My the... dignity is preserved. <laughs> next to the town he grew up in. <laughs> yes. Listen, he's more of a book elf. <laughs> Elf on the shelf. There you go. Oh, so. All right. So after a few moments, you guys uh, reach the Gray Lake. The Gray Lake. The Gray Lake. Um, the trees begin to thin, revealing a field of short green grass that leads to the shores of a wide, calm lake reflecting the overcast sky above. A dense fog hangs over the center of the lake, obscuring the far side. Near the shore, a dark form lies next to the water. What kind of... Wow, this uh, lake sure is wet. Is there any path to go down to the lake surface, or is it sheer wall? Uh, you can easily get down to the lake surface. Alright. Those are the edge of the trees, not cliffs. Wow, I now notice why you called it the Bug Gray Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Right. As soon as I saw it, I said that, and it didn't hit her until we hit it the second time. And now <laughs> you can't unsee it. It's a very wet <laughs> lake, okay? Oh. Very wet. <laughs> Someone at Pies was very dirty. <laughs> you know, I bet you it's surrounded by bushes, too. Oh, you know it is. For a couple of days every month, the entire thing turns red. It's <laughs> <laughs> like everything. He's like, fuck this shit. Damn, he uh, appraised that lake. Can, <laughs> can we tell <laughs> what. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, can we tell what type of being uh, that body belongs to? Or is it just... Uh, there's a thing. Grin see, uh, can clearly see it and knows that it is... It looks like a person. Oh, I, Eve definitely sees it. It's a person. Sit your elf eyes down. Chad feels too busy looking at the map going, Who the fuck drew this? What kind of dirty old man put this fucking map together? <laughs> Jesus. Gideon's looking over your shoulder. <laughs> he just wants to get back in his tent. It's so quiet in Tyler there. Doing? Um, but yeah, you see, it looks like a person that's just laying still by the water. I'm gonna go approach him. As you get closer, uh, you see the decayed body of a man uh, with a huge bite marks all over the upper torso. Eve. Could it give me a perception check? Yes, definitely. All of us? Uh, anyone that's gonna look at the I'm body. I'm too busy being disgusted by dead things. 
This is not what I'm paid to do. Taya and Tanithil. Um, you guys notice that this guy is carrying a masterwork short sword and a pouch with 87 gold. Damn, we saw that just from glancing at him? Like, well, from pull up, I'm pretty sure looking at there's him. like 87 <laughs> gold in that pouch right there. Maybe 86, but I'm pretty sure it's 87. I can tell by the lumpiness of the pouch. Taya and Tanithil, the power duo. Really? Um, are you gonna, if you take out the, co the coins and count them, you find it's 87 gold. Aha! I was right. As I always am. Taya, um, will, Taya, using her knowledge of blacksmithing, will recognize that this short sword is masterwork. Uh, also, as you look at the coins, you notice that they are newly minted from the capital city of Tamron. That they bear the likeness of Forest Marshal Gavrik, nominal leader of Nermathas. Uh, does this guy, like, is this guy's face just absolutely fucked, and there's no chance in hell that we're gonna be able to make sense of who he was, or... Uh, give me a local check. What's the DC? Uh, ten. Sweet. Yeah. Um, as you look this over, you realize he is not from Kasim. Um, uh that his clothes, while in poor condition from exposure, were definitely the kind that could be purchased at larger cities. Uh, once she composes herself, Eve is gonna poke it. The body. You're gonna poke it? Yeah, I'm gonna poke the body. Okay. Actually, no, no, hold on. I'm gonna look for a stick, and then I'm gonna poke the body. Alright, you poke the body. Wow. Well, I figured that this is real. I don't trust anything since those works. It's real. Like, you can smell it. It's real. I, oh, okay. I wish to draw my sword, just in case. Just in case? Yeah. Taya is examining the, uh, the short sword, kind of just feeling the weight of it, comparing it to hers. Yeah, it, it's a dead body. It's been there for a while. I would like to try to see if I can figure out how this person died. Okay. Excellent. Um, upon closer look, you realize that this man has been dead for several months. Uh, and that maybe the huge bite marks all over his upper toaster is what killed him. What a shock! Hey, you never know if they were not on post-mortem or anti-mortem. <laughs> um, anyone that has a trait can give me another local check. Either local or nature. So nobody got it. Or we have a ranger. He might have nature. Let's see. We didn't use his role. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, Gideon has nature. Nice. All right, Gideon. Gideon. Uh, looking at this and seeing the bite marks, you remember being told as a kid never to come to the lake. Because a gigantic serpent lives in the lake. And that that is what probably ate the man. That sounds like that would give a lot of that good, good experience. Are, are we going to go hunting lake monsters? Because I can't swim. All he wanted to do was go swimming. Just another bad day for him. gonna really go look for the serpent monster? No. That okay. would just be stupid. Okay. I'm like, Taya well, isn't a fan of water. Alright, let me go look up the stats for a giant serpent. <laughs> oh, lordy. Maybe if it was on land. If you should choose to, you guys could refill your water skins here. I yeah. would like to boil my water before drinking it because as a young lady, 
I got beaver fever from drinking untreated water when I was very dehydrated. And <laughs> now all of my characters are afraid of beaver fever. So I will take a chunk of wood or something, hollow it out, fill it up, get a fire going, heat some rocks in the fire, and then rinse the rocks off and then transfer those very hot rocks into my water until it hits a boiling point and then fill my water skin. Okay. Because All that's right. the one survival thing that I know from Girl Guides. Alright. I mean, you could have just held it over Eve's head, but this will work. Uh... So you guys gather the water. Eve... or uh... Sorry, not Eve's head. She's always Taya's head. But Eve... Gets the water, goes off to the side, and starts making a fire to boil her water. Anyone else doing anything? Taya will ask the group if anybody else wants the short sword, and if not, she will keep it. But uh, no, I'm good. I have my own in, gear. In that case, Taya will take out her short sword from her sheath and put the new one in, putting the old one in her pack. Kitty looks right. like he's being admonished uh, by the raven, kind of slunk down, and looking at the ground. Admonished by the raven. I'm just picturing him just looking very dejected as this bird on his shoulder is just, caw, 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 <laughs> Everyone around is like, Jesus fucking Christ, please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why must you subject us to this? We're all being punished. To be fair, <laughs> ravens speak common. <laughs> Quoth goes the raven. Nevermore. <laughs> Was there any identifiers on this body? Uh, they found coin newly minted from the capital city of Tamron. Yeah, but no badges or... Nope. I mean, it's not like it's 2017 and he's got a driver's license in his pocket. Yeah, the uh, the big snake ate his ID, so I went back. <laughs> I was thinking, like, Badge of Office, or, like, is he important? Well, time to go hunt a sea serpent. Gotta find that ID. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you do it right, I mean, you end up with a new, you know, sea serpent skin wallet at the end anyway. Alright, so after... Eve takes her time to boil her water. You guys replenish your water skin. Uh, you guys continue to head south. Yes. If I can get another round of survival checks to see if anyone gets lost. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to just point out the that to the ranger. There we go. Ranger's good. He knows where he's going. Taya's not feeling so confident after seeing that dead guy. It's not my strong suit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know exactly where we're going. It's this way. Again, I don't know why you didn't follow me the first time, but it's definitely this way. Yeah, I'm going to follow him this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gideon. See, this guy knows what I'm about. Taya does not trust Anthil. She's gonna follow Grimnall. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like get like those little child harnesses. Put me on a leash, you motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see, do I know who to follow? I'm following fucking Tenethville. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he's got this right. Uh no. Uh once he sees that Grimnall is uh, actually heading in the other direction. He reconsiders his options and then says, Ah, whoops, I'm sorry, I misplaced where the moss was on the tree. It's that way, of course, and promptly starts following. Him. And as everyone looks around, there's no moss at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen, it was supposed to be just a dumb excuse, and then you just exposed it as a blatant lie, and now I don't know if I want to follow you anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys travel south even further. 
I'm about halfway to your next location, and I messed up his pointer and poor Mark. Uh, the sky opens up, and it starts to rain. Cats we hear dogs rain, Mark. Getting together. Fuck. You you hear rain, Mark? Bim, rain. Bim not like doesn't even notice or care that it's raining. Um, not only is it rain, but it's cold rain. Like the rain that's. Oh, well, that's kind of short. Let me put that on repeat. It's a short rain. <laughs> the the rain that, that that has a little bit of a sleet in it. You can hear a sizzling coming from Taya, and you see little puffs of smoke coming from her head. Her arms are crossed, and she does not look happy. NFL takes notes. Um, if I can get fortitude saves from everyone. If I decline, can I just succeed? Thank God! He was already Brimnal. tired. Brimnal. He was already tired before. Idiot. Alright. You guys are gonna have to make me go look at the shit, aren't you? Gideon. If they all save, we'll be fine. I don't even have to pay attention to what this bullshit is. I like your style of DMing. I do the <laughs> same thing. That's the best party marker. The sausage party. Those are the hot God, dogs, nice. thank you. You're a hot dog night. Yeah, I really don't like hot dogs that much. It's funny, because you're really into sausage. There. Thank you. Hey. Alright, cold. It's cold. It's cold. Um... You see 15 plus 1 for the previous check. Grimdahl and Gideon, you both take. Five points of non lethal. Ouch. Ouch. As you reach the edge of the gorge. Look, we are literally half dead from some cold rain. Maybe you guys should put your winter blankets around your shoulders. I mean, the ones the dogs ate? <laughs> well, maybe if some dumbass hadn't been sleeping outside his tent. Okay, I, I am going to put mine around me. After seeing how these two have caught a chill, I'm going to use my own. Make a makeshift cloak out of it. Yeah, between the winter blanket and remnants of the tent and the wolf furs, whatever helps. Okay. Doing good. Uh, so the trail leads ever deeper into the Fangwood, through a twisting maze of trees and confusing ravines. As it tops a small rise, a broad valley spreads out before it, the opposite side of which looks like a writhing serpent. Yet between the two lies a steep hill sloping down into a valley. A cold rain falls, making the ground slick and treacherous. They don't have any rope in their bags. Without getting too close to the edge, about how far down is it, or do we know that from prior knowledge? Oh. Um, it looks to be Dude, come on, what am I gonna do with a grappling hook? 
Maybe somebody else has rope. <laughs> yeah, it's all the I team building. Really doubt it. <laughs> it's like a drawn out escape room puzzle. Like everyone's got a clue, but <laughs> none of them fit together quite right. Does um, anyone actually have rope? From yes, their I do. Pack thing? All right. Well, Tanithil just kind of looks at this ravine. Uh, looks over at everybody and goes, you, and then walks over and just takes the rope. Right? I just want to know, you know, how, if we have enough rope, like, how far down is uh, it? Or? You should have enough rope to reach the bottom. Okay. Um, right, so res resisting the yank, as the rope's, like, tied to my backpack. <laughs> yes. Um. Exactly. Boom, now will, uh, sorry. Oh. Work together, cooperation. I'll tie it off here. You tie the cook to it. Is the tree line close enough to tie it around something very firm, like a tree? Or is that uh, paying out too much extra slack? Um, give me a perception check. Let's see if you could spot a tree that's close enough. No. You don't see anything that would be strong enough and close enough that would hold your guys' weight. This is and what happens. Or... Yeah, anyone can roll it. If this it is what happens when you have ten wisdom. Tanithil, on the other hand, is like, dude, there's a tree right here. You're standing right next to it. Oh yeah, no, he's like, give me the goddamn rope. I got this, bro. Fine, but I'm gonna be checking your notch. Not because I distrust you or show any any sense of dissimilitude, but just to be safe. Taya will muse about being roped into this situation. But I'm bumped. You will laugh. And then look along the edge herself and try to figure out if she's got any amount of capabilities to get down there. How far across is it? Uh, you're not going across, you're going down. Yes, but how far across is it? Across? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Really far. Damn it. Alright. I mean, We're gonna go down. To be fair, from Kassan to the Broken Glade took us a full day of travel. That's fair. Well, no, that looks like that was about 15 feet. Are you sure we can just walk around in uh, circles a lot? It's, it's 18 you're... dots long. <laughs> you guys camped about here for the night? Oh, okay. Still. Yeah. Uh, from the lake, it took you guys about four hours from the lake. Now, do I figure that I could slide down the side of this hill like a kid trying to ski down some slick mud at the playground? You can try. Do I know what kind of skill set that might require? Such as, I don't know, acrobatics? Roll suicidal? Uh, um, it could be an acrobatics to slide down it. Yeah. And to not eat shit at the bottom? <laughs> and acrobatics? Excellent. Okay, good. When you guys are there, I'm gonna be trying some fancy shit. Yeah, I'll try an acrobatics instead of trying to go for a climb. Because let me tell you about my negative two to uh, climb checks. Well, I mean, it's on a rope, so it's, you can literally take it. I'm trying to be obnoxious. All right, we'll continue to be obnoxious. You obnoxious squad. So uh, who's going down first? My vote is... Actually, that's probably a bad idea. We shouldn't set the person with fire on their head down the rope first. Um, I actually on. wouldn't mind going first. I mean, I'm kind of stealthy. I'll go down beside the rope and kind of use it to assist, but I am going to be trying to acrobatic slide my way down as opposed to climbing. Okay. But near the rope so that hopefully, should I start to eat shit, I might be able to try to regain my balance. Okay. Go ahead and give me your acrobatics check. There's that three. <laughs> Give me a reflex save. Uh, 
There's that 19. <laughs> All right. So you start to climb down, you know, sliding, doing that whole, you know, how you do with the Heelys thing. Um, when you feel what do your legs start to give, so you reach out and grab the rope real quick, and you're able to steady yourself. Excellent. Are you going to proceed down? Yes. All right. Give me another acrobatic check. This time I rolled a two. <laughs> Give me another reflex save. This time I rolled another two. <laughs> oh, shit. You're dead. So, you, you, you try to acrobatics down again, jumping from what looks like a steady rock to a steady rock. When you hit a particularly slippery thing of uh, mud, and... You slide down the muddy hill, and then fall down a 20-foot cliff. Uh-oh. Take it. I would like to acrobatics to try to stick the landing. Go ahead. <laughs> nope. And there's the one! You Three, two, one! <laughs> you stick the landing with your head first. Eight damage. All you right. stick the landing, but you feel your legs break. Is that non-lethal or lethal? I don't remember. Oh, that's lethal. That's lethal. Excellent. <laughs> You're almost at the bottom, though. You're, like, right there. Are you gonna try and acrobatics the rest of the way down? <laughs> no, I'm gonna sit there and cry for a little while. I'm gonna take ten coming down this road. Okay. <laughs> I'm covered in mud. It's a good look for you. I'm sure it's not the first time. Just think of it uh... as a mud facial. <laughs> uh, all right. So you're taking, you're using the rope, climbing down. Yes. Alright, give me an acrobatics check. Fuck. Alright, that's you're not good. You're Sweet. good. Uh, you're a third of the way down. You wanna give me another one? I mean, not really, but okay. Okay. You're about even with her now. Ryder, you're just tempting fate at this point. <laughs> I assume you want a third one. Yep. Well, on the way by, he snarks at her. Drink that stupid vial from your pack, you moron. And you make it safely to the ground. Oh, come uh, on. He's already crying. She, she looks at him. I don't have a vial. Oh. Well, that I didn't know. Get down here. Come on. She clings to the rope and her spot and shakes her head in fear. How far up is she? Um, ten feet or so. Could I, like, catch her to cushion her fall or something? Sure. Alrighty. Uh, well, he, he, like, stretches both arms out. He's like, come on, you idiot, let's go. I'll catch you, I promise, it'll be fine. If anybody gets hurt, it's probably gonna be me, honestly. She doesn't mind the sound of that, so off she goes. Give me your last acrobatics check. I'm crying. Alright, with the assistance of the rope, you're able to make it to the bottom. Alright, and then he'll pull out the, the vial of healing, as it is supposedly labeled, and pass it to her. Who's next? Because nobody can fucking heal in this party. Uh, the violet that's marked healing is a care light wound. And I rolled a two on it. Excuse you, that's my vial? I will roll for it. No, you gave that right up when you handed it to me. <laughs> Last time I try and help some bitch. Alright, who's next? 
Grimnol will uh, inch over to the edge looking down and shout down with both of his hands and a cone around his mouth. Hold the rope steady! Tan will, uh, will look over at Eve. They're just gonna go, Did you catch that? Because I don't, I can never understand a word he says. Not one time. I've been making guesses since the beginning. Oh, I love you, Alex. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Um, he will, he will grab the rope, however, and try to hold it steady. Um, and... Grimnall will very meticulously, slowly, non-fancily climb over the edge, checking his feet at each step, making sure that the rope is wrapped around an arm before sliding down. Okay. Roll that acrobatics for the first third. Acro? Acro. Slippery. Oh, I thought that was the point of the rope. You nailed it. Uh, give me a reflex save. But that 24 on climb, though. I'm totally reserving that 24. <laughs> okay, uh, you slide down a short hill before slamming into a tree. Taking three points of non lethal damage. Of course. Reversing the effects of the cure potion. Shit, what was the DC on that shit? I rolled hmm? an 18 on the reflex save. It's. It, based on what he rolls, it, it's a table. Oh, okay. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, I already, I, like fucked, I already fucked up. It was just a matter of, like, how fucked up. I gotcha. Okay. With <laughs> the high heels. <laughs> Are you gonna continue down? Yes. Again, methodically, testing his feet. Wrapping mm -hmm. the rope around his, his wrist before continuing it down, letting it slip over. Acrobatics? The rope! It's slippery as fuck, man! Can you not hear the- and my son just closed the game. Thank you, Tenor. I love you. Quick roll it again while she's not in here. <laughs> well, the jump is the echo. It's just labeled differently. Oh, I was going off for af acro. Why do you have two things, then? There are some things that affect jump, specifically. Does Grimino by chance have wings? Alright, so you make it down a little bit further. One last check. With the assistance of the rope, you make it down the rest of the way with no problem. Okay. Three down, two to go. Taya will go ahead and go next. Uh, following Grimnall's example, aside from the slamming into the tree. Grimlaw's going to assist uh, Tanithil in holding the rope steady. Uh, can I get a reflex save, please? You sure can. Okay. Alright. Uh, so you slide far down the hill. Unfortunately, you slide through a pair of thickets and land on some rocks and take three damage. This is an interesting take on rocks. Um, Meeple or regular? <laughs> regular. Regular. Okay. It's not rocks fall, we die. It's rocks, we fall and die. <laughs> I assume another acrobatics check. Yep. One more, because you slid down far enough that you're further down, but you hit rocks. Give me another reflex save. See, this is my struggle. Hey, Ryder. Yeah. Quick question. A little backtrack a little. 
How many hours did it take us to get from camp to here? Four. Four. Four hours? Awesome. I paid attention when you said it the first time. <laughs> I was just thinking of the non lethal that heals one per hour. Okay, so you slide into a tree at the base and take. One point of non-lethal damage, but you're safely on the ground now. Taya, once she lands on the ground, will just groan. All right. All that's left is to come back up the other side. No, you're still missing Giddy. Oh. Right, yeah. Oh dear God! Giddy was just deciding whether or not he was just going to fall limp and fall. <laughs> and just get it over with. <laughs> but then, <laughs> at the last moment, he decides to grab a hold of the rope and try to make it. <laughs> Damn! Damn! All right, you, you make it the third way down. Again. This is far too easy. It can't go right. Damn! Damn! You're making this look like <laughs> like they were idiots. Yeah, Let's see at this point, it. this must be an illusion or something. It can't be this this easy. Oh, All right. All right. All right. All right. Give me a reflex save. It's getting overconfident. I was going to laugh if it was another 20. <laughs> Alright, so you slide the rest of the way down and hit your rump on a particularly sharp pair of rocks and take four points of damage. Which happens to be in the same spot that uh, his mentor hit him with the stick. He's kind of rubbing it and then he uh, says a quiet incantation and you see uh, a bit of magic circle as he casts a spell. Congratulations. Oh, you guys made God. it to the bottom. Somebody fucking took your light word. So someone, I was going to say, if someone needs one of those potions, since it took us four hours to get here, I would not have needed to use mine. So I still have that to give to someone if they need it. Good to know. I think the hothead's pretty fucking roasted. Ty has some minor scratches on her arms, but she's not exactly worried about them. It's I'm half lethal, dead. That's the problem. I'm yeah. half dead with lethal. Half <laughs> dead with lethal. I'm in physical pain. All right. Well, before we. Uh... We administer any health potions or magic. Let's give this a shot. Okay, that didn't work. Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> As he drops the bandages in the mud. No, man. He goes to try and figure out what exactly is bumped and bruised and broken on uh, Eve and ends up groping her. He's like, hmm. This doesn't seem right, but I'm pretty sure we should keep trying. I think, wow, 30. Yeah, you're definitely a female. All right, well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cure Light Wounds is 1d8, right? Plus one, yeah. Yeah. Plus one? Yeah, 1d8 right. plus one. Uh, Ty, we'll go. Non well, before you take, how much non-lethal do you have? Uh, four, I believe. How, how what your health at right now? Uh, ten. And what's your health at, Eve? Uh, five. Ooh, you guys are like right there, four and five. Time at least of day? would only pass out, though. Time of day? Um, it's getting toward... Like, it's past... Let me see here, you guys got up, took three hours to get here. A little afternoon. Okay, what do our surroundings look like? 
Are there any immediate environmental or animalistic threats? Uh, no, you guys are at the bottom of the valley. Um, just a short way away from the, the crypt. I'm sorry, from the what? The crypt. Okay, so it's on our level? Right. Oh, okay. The map makes it look like you have to climb back up. I, and I know it does, but it, once again, the old man drew the lake to look like a vagina, so... <laughs> the guy is not exactly a cartographer. As is abundantly obvious by the fact that the broken glade is like a fucking mile across, and then we have Vagina Lake and the Serpent Gorge, which descends and then ascends. Is was there any sense, uh, or from tradition, since we you know grew up in this town, of how long it takes this task to be completed? Uh, it depends on the people. Um, some people. Just take a couple days to get, or like two days to get there, half a day to complete it, and two days to get back. That's like the shortest time. So we're like on par. Alright. So Eve heals for four. And then. Thank God. You still have that potion that I guess Taya can take. So the cliff boss has been really hard. Turn around and go home. <laughs> that elevator boss will fuck you up every time. We fail. Because if anyone still has non-lethal damage, we can just rest for a few hours to remove yeah. that. In the rain. You don't need a full night's sleep or anything. You Plus, recover. I can attempt another heal check every hour. If nothing else, Grimlaw himself will will request that we kind of take a rest and mend our wounds and just kind of collect our heads before we embark on this last piece of the task. Taya will begrudgingly agree. You set up your tents and shit. I have I three non-lethal. Does anyone have more than that? I have four. Okay, so four rest, four hour rest. Before we get going. Excuse me, sorry. You want to just make it an eight hour? Yeah, four hour doesn't actually do anything for anybody because this is Pathfinder, if you recall. Four hour rest will remove four points of non lethal damage. Non lethal heals one per hour. Right, but I think most people are, you know, lethal damaged. Right, uh, that's why I asked about non lethal. Uh, he healed Eve. And himself. Yeah. And himself. Yeah, I so think... I'm, I mean, I'm good to keep going now. I'm only down three or two, two health now. Lethal damage, but I mean, not enough to stop the adventuring day. I mean, it would probably be better if we could at least try to see if we can press on a little bit more if people are only missing like three mm -hmm. and four lethal damage. Just means we have to be careful. Yeah, I'll probably three. break after the next combat. You still have a potion left, I believe. You don't yeah. want to use that on non-lethal though right now, I don't think. Probably want to save that for tomorrow. Okay, so you continue on? Yeah. That's what I would do, personally. But, I mean, again, I'm not your guys' characters. Gideon is Eve's new best friend. He feels that um, it's going to go bad anyway, so what use of, is it to have more spells anyway? I can see it. Gideon is going to have Eve like wearing emo clothes by the time they get back. Yeah, you have to be goth. Yeah. Okay, so you guys continue on, and as you approach the... Crypt. Uh, this is what you find. A cave full of marshmallows and candy? Oh, uh, candy! You wish. An art 
archway of stone is set into the side of a small hill at the bottom of the valley. Moss has overgrown many of the details, but one is still quite clear. The keystone of the arch is carved with a flame symbol. Oh, the same sli flame symbol with a stylized ruin in the middle. Beyond the archway is a darkened tunnel that leads to a pair of massive wooden doors, one of which is slightly ajar. A pair of horses and a trio of ponies lie slaughtered next to the archway, each corpse still tied to a post set in the ground nearby. A swarm of flies hangs lazily in the air above them. Dear God. Grimlaw will approach the horses warily, looking to the cliff sides, and examines the corpses, trying to determine how they were killed. Okay, give me a perception check. Or a heal check. Or a what? Heal. Uh, perception. Okay. Uh, with that perception and Gideon's heal and Chanifil's perception, I, you guys will find that the horses were torn apart by what looks like claws. It wasn't a sea serpent. No natural animal did this. Animals don't kill just to kill. They kill to eat. They wouldn't leave the bodies. Uh, Gideon, you know that they've been dead for about two days. While the uh, others examine the corpses, Taya will go over to the uh, door and kind of guard it, listening for any unusual sounds coming from within. Okay. Um, Tanithiel, as you're looking around, um, you do f what find scattered bones of a human underneath one of the horses. So why are there a bunch of horses here anyways? I imagine someone else came through here first. But why? To steal the Everflame. I have no idea. Not as is, good a guess as any. I was say, the question is, what is to the west and east of this gorge that they would be able to walk horses down here? <laughs> it's Do almost like the town showed you guys the most difficult pl path. Wow, those dicks. <laughs> Do I, I bet you that road by the Broken Blade goes off to like a normal fucking road that circles around to the gorge. <laughs> it's, lined, it's lined with daisies. <laughs> Out on the yellow big road. The friendly guard that wanders up and down it to make sure no wolves uh, show up. Oh, oh, the non sea serpent infested lakes. Cozy um, in. As you're looking around and wondering what the fuck are these horses doing here, Eve, you notice that uh, one of them still has its saddlebags. Oh. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Yeah. Um, inside you find two days worth of rations, a pair of large comfortable pillows, a quiver with ten blunt arrows. Of what arrows? Blunt. Blunt. Blunt arrows, okay. And two pints of lamp oil. And as you guys investigate this, the rain stops. And... That was rather sudden. Do we proceed or do we camp? Seems unwise to camp beside a bunch of corpses, don't you think? Dude. Might draw animals. Among other things. 
probably for the best that we at the very least step inside. The body of the humanoid, and it's a standard question I always ask, are there any identifying marks or items or badges or anything? It's bones. Just All bones. bones. Yet the... Okay. Scattered bones. So the horses are attacked, intact, but the humanoid is picked clean. Do I? Is the, uh, I don't have religion. Never mind. Oh, I do. Hold up. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What eldritch horrors do that to a man? I don't know. What eldritch horrors do that to a man, Ryder? Uh, you would you would think that this is now an undead skeleton that was trampled, and then a dead horse fell on it. Uh, okay. So, uh, Tan naturally knowing much more than any of the rest of you about undead skeletons turns around and goes aha this was an undead skeleton why is there a hobgoblin in the corner because he does everything based on his uh token because he's a scrub it's just the defense it's just the saving throws you they... can't just have your feet open like everybody else no <laughs> <laughs> He's too cool for You us. fucking diva, Mark. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have dead horses, an undead skeleton that's crushed, and doors. No, no, not doors. <laughs> the pain of adventure is everywhere. Taya will call out, if y'all are done investigating, you know, the dead horses, could we get inside? Certainly not. Taya remains silent. I'm kidding. All right, that's not actually something my character would say. Uh, let's go inside. Okay. Cautiously, carefully, let's peek through the door first. Uh, is I anyone, peek with my dark vision, quietly, is, stealthily is, even. Is anyone specifically taking the lamp oil or pillows? Uh, somebody with high decks, I imagine we can throw the fucking lamp oil, given that, you know, we don't actually have any lamps. Listen, I'm overburdened. To set things on fire, you know, like a torch. Maybe you should give it to the fucking uh, fire-haired one. Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> like, here's some hair product. Works just, great. Just smash the lamp oil over think, my head. How do you think she grows her hair? Obviously. <laughs> I'm feeling like a long hair kind of day. Is this dynamic lighting? It is dynamic lighting. It's Hold on. Product. You oh, haven't okay, opened gotcha. the doors yet. I'm sorry. We're opening the door. Hey, out of Give me way, a I strength sure. check. You know, I wonder if I could make a whip out of my hair. I thought it was partially a jar. No, the door's no, closed. No, it's a door. It's not a jar. Obviously, it's a door. Give me a strength check. If anything that can work is a crowbar. take that as a no. Hold on. I don't have anything for that, but... Is anyone else help pushing open these doors? I am. Taya is. Alright. Working all fatigue. together. The doors swing open. Grimbo is weak. I stealthed and percepted. He's fatigued. I want to be the first one in the door. Out of my way, peasants. Oh dear god, they're skeletons. I don't want to be the first one in the door anymore. <laughs> As the heavy door swings open, the faint light of outside reveals a long chamber with risen platforms on either side. A faded painting of Cassim is on the far wall. The room appears to be the site of a gruesome battle with two bodies piled in the center and a number of skeletons scattered around. An echoing wail can be heard somewhere in the distance beyond this foul chamber. We're going to die. I told you that before. No, we're not. Come on. And Ty will walk into the chamber. Is it to hit that thing beside are you? Are these crumpled on the ground or are they walking around? They're crumpled on the ground. Okay. Make you promise? That's how they appear. 
so, then I'm not so concerned. They appear to be walking to me. Grimmel's going to switch out his bow to his uh, longsword and shield and uh, stalk forward carefully. Being mindful not to get too close to these skeletons. Hey, Ryder, can you do me a huge favor? Mm -hmm. um, can you set my third bar, or whichever fucking bar you want, really, to mental focus? Find it. Yeah, sorry about that. Mental damage, mental mods. If it helps, it's capitalized. Regardless, uh, Tan is going to draw his sword and uh, summon up his skeleton friend, as per the usual. It uh, tears itself out of the ground from the earth outside the door. Tyo will whip around and start screaming about a skeleton. Oh, would you calm down? It's my grandfather. We already had this conversation. You were asleep. It's your own fault. No one woke me up. And not for lack of trying. Maybe take out the earplugs next time there, hothead. Taya's head will grow hotter. She clenches her fist and walks deeper into the tomb. I don't see mental focus. Alright, it's fine. I'll just do it myself. I You'll kinda wanna to touch one of the skeletons. Trying that. God damn it. Hold on. Well, this is a crypt. There. Alright. Are you gonna reach out and touch a skeleton? No, I'm kinda scared of dead bodies. And I don't see any sticks right away. Uh, All so right. Looks like you have two doors. As you enter the chamber completely, you watch in horror as six of the bodies rise up. Initially, please. Can we mark which ones are up? Yeah, give me a second. Thank you. It's important because I have a spell. Or, right more here. importantly, mark the two that are down a little quicker. That would work. I'll just delete them. Don't do that. I need them. <laughs> For raw materials. It's less raw materials and more grasping corpse spell. Oh no! Oh no, what have you done? Just control Z. There you go. <laughs> the entire tomb shifts beneath your feet. Reality warps me around you. I have to put him to the token layer. Okay. Uh, so this one's down. And this one's down. There. Okay. All good now? Yes, thank you. Everyone on the initiative. Yeah. Yep. Skeleton number one wakes up. And we'll proceed forward. Is standing up an action? Move. It's a move action. These skeletons have okay. really good initiative. Well, yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was like, you know... Uh, the skeleton will stand up an and action. move in. Gideon! Gideon will uh, let loose one of the bolts that he has. Uh, at, let's see... This one. Okay. Yeah, I marked the ones that were down. Um, fortunately, your bolt misses and hits the wall. Hits the 
drunk beside it. All right. Well, he's contributing nonetheless. Okay, the skeleton will stand up as well. This skeleton will stand up. I don't know what's happening, but fancy things are happening. This skeleton will... Oh, no, wait, he was flat-footed, wasn't he? Maybe that did hit. Uh, no, never mind. He's good. He stands up, which provokes from Eve. I'm flat-footed. I haven't acted yet, so no. Okay. Daya! Oh, God. Oh, God. Of the right. surrounded by horses. Um, one of them had to Taya be will strike out the one directly in front of her. Okay. If you go for the one beside you instead, it's still flat footed. Basically. That one? No. The one right beside you. You're oh, that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll. Hit that one then. Okay. That'll hit as you smash the skeleton. Oh, what are you, what are you using? Short the sword? Uh, the masterwork short sword. Ah, uh, it'll hit, but it doesn't seem to do the damage you thought it was gonna do. Did I crack a bone at least? You did some damage to it. That will be the end of my turn. Okay. Tanatel. Alrighty. Um. Spooky, scary skeletons. Well, since I already got my sword out, I'm going to... I will... Uh, I'm gonna power up my sword, I guess, and, uh, we'll grab this one. So that's a standard and a move, and Mr. Skull and Bones there is going to claw at the other skeleton twice. Claws are bludgeoning, so it goes through DR. Assuming that bludgeoning is in fact the DR. I'm sorry, she's right. Can I roll to see if I know anything about skeletons? Uh, religion. Oh, don't you know? You know some things. Uh, luckily these are everyday skeletons. Um, you have one question. Okay. Are they skeletons? Yes, they're skeletons. All right, good. No, we're we're fine then. Nothing to worry about. I got this. No. Um, what breaks their shell? Bludgeoning. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. What? I said okay, cool. That's what I thought. Uh, okay. then I guess that's my turn because I don't have anything else I can do. What about your skeleton? Uh, he punched, so that was the 12 and the 9, which I assume oh. this is. On the one to the south? This yeah, one's on flat-footed. But he is flat-footed and prone, I believe. Because he's not gotten right. up yet, so that would make it like a huge bonus. That still wouldn't hit. 12 and the 9, flat-footed and prone? Fuck yep. me. Damn, man, that's like a 16 on prone, and then minus the flat-footed 2? Shit. All right, well, Eve. I'm gonna five foot, and then I'm gonna double claw this guy, because I can. And Excellent. I can sneak those guys, because, I, you know, they're just skeletons. Go for the spine or something. Okay, well, and you now smash this guy to be... To stand up, I am in position to prefer to, uh, uh, AOE well. now. There's good news. You have smashed him to bits. 
Excellent. Uh, just as his turn comes up. Or Mr. Skeleton. Jim. Gimnal, uh, with a clatter of wood against stone, he drops his longbow and unslings from his back his lucerne hammer that has been strapped to his back this entire time. That I completely forgot about <laughs> until now. Five foot stepping and aiming a bludgeoning blow against this thing. Um, I don't think I'm flanking, but I'm not 100% certain. Because flanking with reach weapons is weird. Okay, so you're trying to hit... Try to hit this guy. No, to flank you'd have to be here. Okay. Okay. Excellent. 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 Uh, this poor guy. Goes all to pieces. Yep. Oh! Whack! As the skull of this creature goes clattering down the hall. Are these okay. more f family members of yours, Tanithidl? Tanithidl? <laughs> Alas, no. These are not uh, beloved family members, so please reduce them to dust. Post haste. Gladly. Is this one will actually get to react this time. Uh, what is Tanithidl? That's me. That's you. Fuck. <laughs> wow. As he hits you with his claw. And the other one. What's your AC? Uh, 18. The second claw won't hit. Okay. Tyo will scream, bring it on, as the skeleton attacks Tanaphil. As you get scratched for five damage. Ow. That's most of my health. This guy's dead. Gideon! And since he doesn't know any better, he's still going to shoot. damage is it? What happens? Uh, so you, your arrow hits but it doesn't quite connect with the bones. It kind of just rattles in his ribcage. Oh. Can I screw off. anything from that? Is there um, off key? That's... I have a 20 intellect. Uh, you figured that because the arrows have a point, they're used to sticking into something meteor. And these have nowhere for them to really stick to. That's fair. It's just bouncing off the hard objects. Good to know. Need to feed them some of the grandma's chili so they got something to stick to their bones. <laughs> Anything right, else? He's, he's just going to say... Oh, well, I guess blunted objects would be better. I should have known that. Skeleton is gonna try to hit again. And we'll miss both claws. Skeleton. We'll try to hit Taya. I will miss with both claws. Uh, this skeleton will go for Eve. Oh no! Oh no! What's your AC? 16. The second one will hit. Or five 
five damage. Rip me. Kaya, you have two skeletons in front of you. Alright, so recoiling from her uh, disappointing strike, and after hearing Gideon's comment, uh, Taya is going to strike out with her shield and shield bash the skeleton in front of her. Bash away, my good friend. Unfortunately, that bash will miss. These skeletons okay. are slightly more dexterous than you would imagine. My shield just goes through its ribcage instead of actually hitting it. <laughs> it glances off their bones and hits the already dead one beside it. Tana Phil! Alright, Tan is going to call back to the skeleton. Uh, grandfather, two steps backward, one forward. And the skeleton. I'm going up to get in for just a second. Do that, and then he's gonna punch the other stuff. Uh, that's actually a 16. Sorry, I forgot to add modifiers. Is it an actual 16? Right, yeah, cool. yeah, like that'll, that. that'll hit. That'll hit. Skeleton fight. Wow. As grandfather brings his honor onto this other skeleton. Good. Uh, Tanifil himself is going to take a swing at the one to the south. Uh, Taya hasn't hit either of them yet, correct? Correct. He hasn't had a chance to hit. Like, he's tried, but he's missed. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go for the south one. I hit one that's already dead. Ready, buddy. The one right in front of you? Yeah, the one directly to the south. Okay, so you hit it, but your blade glances off its bones, just barely scratching it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd be doing more damage if this thing would roll above a two. It's a deep <laughs> fucking ten. Anyway, I'm gonna five foot back here. Sweet. Press the button. Right, sorry, I always forget about this thing. Okay. Heave. You, what the grandfather take, kills your skeleton. Sledge. Um, to get over it quickly, mm. it's an acrobatics check. You know what? I'm actually gonna not risk it. I'm actually gonna come over here. Pretty low health to be trying to rely on my acrobatics. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna attack this. There's not gonna be any sneak attack, unfortunately. And only one spot. Ah, wow, that roll though. That three. As you go to step up to the stairs, you kind of trip a little and miss on your swipe. Damn. Well, thank God that one that comes next. <laughs> Press the button. Well, do you know about the button? You see the little pink button under your picture? Right. Wait, no, that's... Wait. that's what it is. Yeah. It worked. Gin! Grim! Uh, your name Tom's wrong. Um... I'm gonna take the attack of opportunity. And as he jumps off the ledge, he spins around, and using that momentum, he swings his Lucian hammer in a cross blow against this thing's spine from behind. Unfortunately, the spin, spin was a little too much, and you mistimed it and miss. Wait, he's flanking, though. That's included. Oh, flanking! I'm, oh, it's included. Flanking, but... Well, this, you miss. Let me just double check to make sure. Yeah, it's included already. Alright, man. It's all good. Thank you, though. The button? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. This is definitely not right. What's your strength? Two. 
Okay, your Bab's not factoring in then. What's up? Because with flanking, it's strength and flank, and that's it. Your right. ranger and last I checked. So power attack is a negative one. Right. Fuck. Plus two from flanking, plus two from strength. So. Okay. Oh, good. And I'll I'm fatigued, which he doesn't likes help any. Tell other people about their characters. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. No, no, it's it's the first session. Like, everyone gets something wrong. Like, that's totally cool. I have this thing where I like to bug my husband. Pipe down. Alright, so the first claw swipes over the top of Talia's head. The second claw will hit, though. Four. Three points of damage. The skeleton's dead. Gideon! Um, Gideon sees his opening. He uh, grips the uh, wood of his staff and then releases, saying, Hell no, I'm not going up into that. And uh, fires with a crossbow bolt. Gideon grips his wood and releases something. It's gonna say that phrasing, that. Mike. <laughs> Taya sees a uh, bolt fly over her shoulder. <laughs> As it clatters to the floor behind the skeleton. Skilly! I'm just gonna go for Eve. No! It'll Why have hit. you abandoned me, Grimnall? That'll hit. Grimnall! Oh, man. <laughs> well, if it knocks her down, is it going to keep trying to wow. hit her? Wow! Alright, hold on. Does a four knock you out? Oh, yes. Alright, so four knocks you out, and then it'll five foot, and take the other swipe at Toya. So take four. And it'll miss sorry, Toya. Good thing you guys didn't drink that, po that potion, huh? Uh, go, go for Toya. And we'll hit, and miss. For six damage. Uh, Taya! Taya's not doing too hot. Uh, Taya's got a five foot. Uh, try to get away from the situation. Wanna swing first or? Or if you're really worried, you can go full defense to increase your AC by four. Or nah, fight defensively. I got, I've got Tanafil to, to be there to block all the blows. Block all the blows. <laughs> congratulations Bruh, I'm just on as your fucked as you. Congratulations on your promotion to meat shield. Thanks. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right. I want to. I want to know why our our two meatiest people. Are are stepping away from things? Cough, cough. Don't look at me, man. <laughs> Grimnall at uh, reach here takes the step out, full health, not been touched once. Well, Leaves you to die. Oh, well, reach weapons. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why? <laughs> All right. Uh, fuck it. I'll just step up and take a swing. Why not? This will definitely not go poorly. He does have uh, to. Oh. Maybe Skilly that, first? Yeah, I'll, I'll throw the meat shield, that's the problem. But you're the meat shield. 
I'm really not, buddy. That was your job. Uh, so he's gonna roll up there, and which one of these has actually been hurt? Any of them? Uh, the one to the left. Okay, we're gonna swing on the one to the left. That works. Fuck oh. you, guys. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> doesn't hit often, but when it does. And, like, minimum damage. That sounds That's alright. That's okay. Because it's dead. Perfect. Uh, and then I guess he'll step up and do the same to the middle one. Nope. I'm just clearing skellies. Rip the dream. You miss this. You miss him. Yeah, I noticed. Jesus. Hey, what are you at? You're at zero. Yeah. So technically, you're staggered. Oh, well, I went down. I saw a ten. I'm not sure what the four came from. No, because it only Dang. hit you once. It, it, I asked if it if four would take you down. You said yes. Yeah, four takes me down to one. Oh, sorry, so you would have still zero. Been no, no, to, so, to zero. So I assumed I was like falling on the ground. Yeah. I forgot that at zero you're still technically standing. Well, it's whatever fine. the case is, I went down and I'm staying down. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not alive. Okay. I will roll you all the sorts of bluff. <laughs> Give me that bluff check. Let's see if you can bluff the undead to make me think that you're still. That you're down. That you're not about to stab this guy in the back. Excellent. He th they think you're down. Good. Alright. Grin! Grimnall, seeing the dire straits that we are in. Uh, actually, quasi limited options. Um, he will charge. No, he will not charge. He will move, though. With his, uh, Lucerne hammer loosely held in one hand, he punches with the other. With a Cestus, because someone is always convincing him to get Cestuses. Thank God. <laughs> I think it was physically paining Alex that he couldn't tell me to get a Cestus. I'm around because I have physically have claws. Nah, man. As long as you got something. Nope. I rolled a two. As your fist just goes right through. The opening between two ribs. But a very healthy hobgoblin is standing, full of life force is standing right behind these two. Uh... Yeah. Funny that, right? Yeah. All right. One through three. Uh, Tan, you're three. Is there any um? Free action that I can do to get their attention. Mm, no. Nope. Okay. It's okay. They're going for you anyways. Oh, I'm okay with this. What do you see? The first one will hit. For six damage. Holy Ow. shit. Where were these rolls when I was playing? Fuck! Right? It's dead. Gideon! Hmm. You should take the get dead guys off the order. Gideon's still not feeling very brave. Considering that one of us is staggering for blood loss, the other's just about at that same level. Yeah, probably not an unwise decision. Okay. Um. So you hit it, and 
it doesn't seem to take any of the damage. Alright. It just shrugs off your, your crossbow. Just continuing to try to aim. You're just filling it. Right. Giving it filling. Alright, between one and two. Grandfather's one. Oh, thank God. Sixteen. <laughs> well, it misses both. Doesn't really want to punch his, his uh, kinsman there. Dead. Dead. Taya! Taya really doesn't want to join combat, but she knows, you know... <sighs> Pick up the Fine. skull and throw it. Do you not have a ranged weapon? No, I do not. Uh, if it helps, I have a sling on my belt. Come grab it. I mean, Ty could technically come and grab the uh, crossbow off me, too. You could always Ty throw is... your actual weapon, too. Ty, Ty is not the range type. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't want to go stand up next to something that's going to murder you, what are your other options? I mean... Even if you're not good at something, you can still try it. I There's plenty I'll of skulls up. around you. Rib I, bones. I, I'll pick up a heavy skull and throw it then. An arm. Yep, use the environment, even if there's no rules for it. Uh, what type of knife or uh, negatives do I take to that? It's a negative four for improvised weapon. And because it's a thrown weapon, you use your strength modifier. Right? Yeah, it's dex to hit. Dex to hit, strength for damage. Yeah. Jesus. I hate throwing weapons. Yeah, they're rough. Unfortunately, the skill to the head is not very aerodynamic. And Cloud is on the ground in front of you. Alright, let's do this shit. Ah, Grandpa. Is going to five foot action. Sixteen looks like it'll hit, baby. The sixteen will hit with flanking. Very well done. Well, it would have hit otherwise, but you get the point. Four damage. And that is just enough. Alrighty, then I'm gonna do the same thing. Mine does not have blanking back to it. Uh, you do, because he's got a Cestus. Right, right, but I'm saying it's not in the roll there. Okay. Sweet. Uh, even with the reduced damage, it is enough. Woo! As the last of the skeletons fall. Yay! Kaya will slump against the column right next to her. Tell me about it. So who's ready for that rest now? Yeah, Grimnall just <laughs> closes his eyes briefly, catching his breath as you see him mutter a few words under his breath. Gideon will go to see if um, Eve is stabilized. I'm staggered forever. <laughs> yeah, the, the healing potion is going to Eve. Somebody else roll it. I I rolled a two left. You want to roll? I rolled a one. Wow. You're banned from that now, Mark. <laughs> well, I'm standing. So whose healing potion was that? Just that sure. was Grim. That was Grim's. Uh, Taya also has a healing potion. Should she go ahead and drink it then? Uh, one. Yeah, probably. Okay. After everyone is kind of stabilized, at least. Damn it. Wow, two healing rolls, ones in a row. Damn. It is not your day, Eve. Well, that's well, the second. Yeah, the two is for Taya as well. Uh, you guys do 
still hear the sound of a guy wailing and screaming and crying in this direction. And he can fucking wail all he wants. We're like the dead. There's nobody wailing and crying in our immediate vicinity? No, it sounds like it's coming from over here. Eve, maybe? I, I mean, I'm pretty sure Eve is crying and sniffling. Definitely. Bad skeletons touched her. They touched me so bad. My friends of necessity, I feel I've failed you. I was more interested He's coughing in up blood. defeating our foes and defending our allies. I, I am ashamed. I will do better. I promise you, I will do better. Eve's coughing up blood. You know, he thinks she sees her spit out a tooth. <laughs> she gives matter. you a thumbs up. It would be nice to retire back to my tent. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, now is definitely a good time to uh, take a spite. <laughs> Guys, walk in. Fuck this shit. <laughs> walk yep. right back out again. We're just going straight back home. Like, <laughs> nah, man, fuck that fucking crypt. This is bullshit. Well, if we go back outside, we have the dead horses and potentially a very large cliff to climb. Or we can just close the heavy doors and bar the side doors and try to sleep here. That seems foolish. We should probably close the heavy front door here and camp outside. Probably a little ways away from the horses. My thoughts exactly. Grimlaw moves to pull the heavy doors closed and... Did these push inwards, or...? No, 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 Mark. I'm saying we should go outside and sleep, and just close the crypt behind us. Oh, we want to sleep next to the corpses corpses of horses? No, no, no. Away from the corpses. Because, like, they're directly in front of this. We just go down the ravine a little while. Preferably upwind of the horses. Yes. <laughs> okay. Taya has already started falling asleep on the column. Grimna will uh, offer a supporting shoulder for Talia and or Eve, whoever is willing to take it. Everybody. I use everybody. You don't know how, but Eve manages to use the support of everybody in the group all at the same time. <laughs> it's a talent she has. I'm, I'm half picturing Grimna, like holding his Lucian hammer over his shoulders like an oxen yoke, and you're just like hanging on to either end. <laughs> it, it, yes. <laughs> I'm just kind of letting everybody sort of drag carry me around to shorten this up um make it easier so i don't have to move you guys around uh you guys make it out easily find a place to camp clamp for the night fully rested and to make this easier for everyone i talked with mike and we both agreed that you guys get full healing when rested thank the fucking lords oh okay okay is that an ongoing thing or just because we got our asses kicked Maybe. We'll figure that out later. Okay. This is session one, so that's fair. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, um, I'm good to go for another 30 minutes or so. How about you guys? I think it's probably a good stopping place, honestly. When you camp for the night and get a fresh start in the morning. I'm good to go for that. I'm good with whatever. I'm really easy. We know. How you doing, Mike? Yeah, I'm e either way. All right, sounds like everyone's actually good to go, so let's continue. Right. Let's continue. You guys come back. The skeletons are still smushed. Yeah. Proceed. No more uh, fatigue. Is anything still wailing? Yes, you can still hear the wailing. It's a little fainter this time, let's but it's still coming that. from that direction. All right. Uh, I pop out Grandpa again, and then we walk in. Taya will spit on one of the skeletons. What's 
grandpa's health? Uh, four. Unless we're level two, in which case, I mean, we'd be glad to jack it up more, but it's four. Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you. Oh, his, he's got a name now. Is it Grandpappy? Yes, it's just Grandpa. There, everyone should be able to see his name and health bar now. Yeah. Realistically, if somebody actually gets to Anatil talking, he'll explain that it's not actually his grandpa. It's like his great, 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 what a shock. Ooh. Whoopsie. And let me guess, do you have the card that you can give it to your party? I do. do you don't get that till later. I do, but with my stats, it's not going to do anything. That's hilarious. That is uh, I'm, Mark, I'm literally crying now. Um, I'm fully intending to uh, work on that later. Alright. How does that proceed? You have two doors. <laughs> I want to go towards the one that's crying. Right. I'll perceive the door for traps. Yeah, Grimnell is going to be taking a lead on movement as he's holding his shield before him. You see no traps. No traps. I would like to perceive also, not for traps, but for anything else other than the crying on the other side of the door. Okay. Um, you, all you can hear is the crying. It, it's not as loud as it was when you were here yesterday. And okay. it's it, like it'll, it'll cry for a little bit and then it'll be quiet for a little bit. And then it'll cry for a little bit. And then it'll be quiet for a little bit. Alrighty. But you sense no traps. Uh, no traps. Does it sound like adult crying or like a child like cry? Adult. Okay. Big kids don't cry. Do you open the door? Yep. I'm letting the big guy do that. This large chamber contains a maze of pillars that obscure the far side of the room. Next to the door is a pile of empty saddlebags and three bra- uh, brooms. Grimnall is going to sheath his longsword and take one of those brooms and use it to tap the tiles in front of him as he progresses. Excellent. Okay, continue forward. Needless to say, I'm checking for traps as I go. Mm-hmm. Give me, go ahead and give me your... Thank you. Continue. This is a comical view, by the way, because you have a hobgoblin leading a party of adventurers who's using a shield and a broom. It's beautiful. Tap, tap, Become tap. Become a monk. Make it the half best Half a step weapon. forward. Tap, tap, tap. Half a step forward. I just want to say I'm loving this new dynamic lighting, too. Oh, yeah. The Advanced Fog of War is awesome. It's such a... Awesome improvement. And see, he turns his head behind him. Watch your step. Check, just check the floors with the brooms before you move. We're gonna sweep this whole floor. Don't assume I'll find it. Double check it. I will do as told. I'm scared. <laughs> Give me your perception check as well. Excellent. Should I go around the other way, or do you want me to go behind you? For safety's sake, probably, you know, step where I step. Yeah. Alright, pause. Um, Grimmel, to your south, is a pit trap. Okay. Um, I don't really have any way to mark that. So he will drop a 
ration on the floor on that square. Gently. It's almost like one of your party members were given some chalk. Were they? Not I. To be fair, nobody has yet piped up about the shit that they have in their bag. <laughs> Literally for me, it was like healing potion and grappling hook. Congratulations. Turning his head Mine's to the group and work these tools. Turning his head to the group and embracing the spirit of metagaming that has suffused his body all of a sudden. Do you have anything to mark traps with? All I got is rations, and I'd rather not waste them superfluously. I've got brandy. Well, we may need that to clean wounds later. I know who has to talk to. That's the hilarious part. I'm assuming you all wrote down all the things you got, right? right? Here's some chalk. Not like it'll do us any good. Talk would work. Hand it forward. Unless you want to stop onto a trap we've already found. No. No time for that today. As no chalk is passed forward, he will mark the trap with a with a ration. Don't step there. You've let everyone know as they come through too. X marks the not good spot. Stop. Should our party be following? Oh. I was gonna say. Slowly and carefully. <sighs> As Grimnall uh, you know, taps the broom and doesn't find anything initially, he's just about to set foot on the tile and he really and he notices that push down just ever so slightly. He backs off quickly. There, another one. Don't go this way. Setting another Is ration down. Safe? Stop. Not a ration. You were given chalk. Yeah, dude. What are you? Was you I? Know? Yes. Yeah, I gave you chalk. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's it's hard to hear. That might be a problem with you. Yeah, you may wish to start listening. That might help you hear. <laughs> Look at those ears. Are you sure? It, it is entirely on my end. There's something about Mike's voice that just triggers my microphone every single time. Unless I have it way down. Uh, so yes, these things have been marked by chalk, not by food. Good job. There hasn't been any indication of a door or anything, has there? Um, with ease perception and where she's at, I believe she has angle into this square? Right? Into which square, sorry? If you're pinging, you're on GM layer. Oh, I am on GM layer. That one. Uh, barely. Alright, so with your perception, you see what looks like a switch. There's a switch over there. Okay, I missed the pings for that, so... Up, down, right, left? Over there. Okay. Hmm. Uh, switch over there. Wait here. And he gingerly slips past everyone, being very careful not to bump anyone into the neighboring passageways or, or to fall himself in that way. I'm sorry. And Eve, you do see a door there. Where? I'm on the wrong layer again. Due south. One, two, three blocks. Right down here. Yeah. 
There's a door to the south as well. What's their door here? And pit. Is there any labels or? It's just a switch. Pull the switch, Igor! Bonk, pull the lever. So you pull it, and Bonk you lever! and Taya can hear click and what sounds like rubbing against stone. Okay. He's going to test one of these uh, squares away from the party. Most of his body being around the wall and he's just reaching out with the broom pushing pressure on the very corner of the tile to see if it moves. Okay. The one of the north was a trap, like I pointed out. Basically trying to set it off without exposing myself as much as is possible uh, to do. Steer just opening it up. I'm trying to yeah. to see if that switch disabled it. Uh, it opens. Yeah, so it's like the a trap door open. Good trap or something. Mhm. Mm yeah. So that switch doesn't seem to have done anything about the traps. He will mention that. And click, and the rubbing is done again. Very confused. Might be a door somewhere else? Because Maybe I'm a, I, because I'm a dumb, stupid time. mammal, switch. is there anything I can roll to figure out what's going on? Um, there is another switch here. Oh, 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 okay, I know what's going on. Eve, I don't... come with me. Oh, oh, okay. Eve, kind of, excuse me, pardon me, squeeze it through. Oh, yep, yeah, mm -hmm. hi, sorry, uh-huh. Tan kind of rolls his eyes, shakes his head, and says, You know I have an extra set of hands here that could assist you with this, right? Yes, but are they as dexterous as mine? You know we'll point to the lever to the south. The lever to the south where? Oh, right in there? Okay. And, there, uh, there's a lever sorry. right there. Wait until I say, and then pull the switch. Okay. I'm just moving for expediency sake. I know that it's there. Okay. As you ran past over here, there was another switch. There. Ugh. Mm. Get Bones. Um, I'm not going to do the movement. Uh, Mr. Bones. Alright, where is it from here? Man the lever. Sorry, I don't have vision off of my skeleton, so I have to move myself. Unless you want to give him vision. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Thank you. You have dark vision, right? Yeah. He also has dark vision 60. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Now, is Grandpa probing ahead of him? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Does he know okay. how to do that? He's very unintelligent. Uh, that's a fair point. Uh, so Tan looks back over at uh, the Hobgoblin and wearily just kind of says, maybe he should take your lever. Fine. Are there any more switches we've missed? No, oh, that's it. <laughs> Alright, is everyone in possession? Aye aye, Captain. 
Comrade. Zoom the position. <coughs> now, grandfather. God, don't make me shout when I'm doing this in character. Alright. So all three of you pull the lever. You hear the click and the grinding against the stone. And then you hear the door open. Yes. Success. Do, 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 do. Congratulations. I really need to get a sound clip of that. You have if you want to talk bar. about licensed sounds. Sound effects are actually okay. It's just music. Weird. Yeah. Copyright's fucking weird. Um, so yeah, we're all gonna gather at that door. In the most safely possible fashion. The crying noises seem to be coming from this direction. Fuck me, this light makes me lag. I don't have the same issue, and I've got a bajillion tabs open. Do we hear anything other than the crying? Like, clacking of stones just, and bones? Just the crying. Other than, uh, Grandpa's arthritis? Other than Grandpa's arthritis. He mostly feels it when it's about to rain. Can I, can I get in there to inspect the door for traps? Sure. Or you guys have already gone through the door, so YOLO. And the door was, but the door was open. open. Oh, the door is open, open, open. Yeah, it, it yeah. swung open. Be careful, we're coming in close. And with that, he's going to uh, go into uh, stealth mode. Ooh, ooh, failing me horribly. Too, me too. Failing horribly, because he's carrying a big-ass shield. My character looks at you and he's like, Are you sure you know what stealth means? Not when he goes I'm... to crouch down low and just bashes his shield against the ground like perfect let's do it basically more or less that's what happens like he's used to just crouching down and skulking and, and stalking his prey but the shield it's a large shield just scrapes against the stones he's not used to it Taya is literally just a giant torch maybe you could stay a couple of steps behind yeah. You will let the rest of the crew go before her. Suffice it to say, Ryder, I'm checking for traps as I go. Broom in hand. Mm -hmm. As you move that way, the sound of crying's getting less. Lessened? Lessened. Okay. Um, just to be thorough, after checking this door for traps, I'd like to put my ear against it to see if I can hear anything. Okay. I would like to check his checking. I don't trust anyone without traps. Please do. Oh, I trust. There's no traps. There has never been a trap anywhere near this door. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. We are the blind no leading the blind right now. Ever. We are the blind leading the blind. I don't know what you're talking about. No one's touched this door ever. Wow. Is Tennessee looking at the door? Yeah, he'll sneak up that? with these nerds. <laughs> hey, All right. Stop meta gaming. Get back there, you. No, I was gonna there. come with you anyway. Tennessee. There's no traps, but you realize that door only opens towards you, and there's no handle. Got it. Okay, so Tanithil, uh goes to make some hand signals, thinks better of it, and quickly casts uh, their spells. Uh, so both of you have message on both of you, and it's a psychic spell, so fuck any actual components at all, ever. Uh, so he then whispers directly into your eardrum. Um, we can't open that door from this side. There's no handle. So let's try going around the other way, shall we? Yeah, okay. Patience and methodical practices. The hunter doesn't run around. He stalks his prey slowly. Uh, I'm as so you waiting for you to hit a trap on that intersection, man. Approach the door. The moan for wailing goes louder with each step toward the door at the end of this musty hallway. There are a host of bones strewn on the floor here, many of which are cracked and broken. Gotcha. Uh, where are the bones exactly? Uh, give me all, all over the front. Okay. Give you what now? 
nothing. I'm good. Perception, you say? Uh, did Not you yet. Okay. Not yet. You're good. Alrighty. Uh, and it's coming from the south, correct? Correct. Alright. Did y'all want to join me for the west door checking first, or do we just want to go straight south? I think we should probably check out this crying at this point. We're close enough to it. When do we know it's a... We either know it's a threat or it's not a threat, and either way it's important at this point. That's fair. I guess we've thrown stealth out the window at this point. Alright. Grin, um, as you looked at the door, the door didn't seem trapped, but I will need another perception check as you get right next to it. As everyone's piling up behind them, they just kind of do that accordion thing where everyone bumps, bump, 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 bump. Yes. I ensure it. With my performance okay. so high, I'm sure I can pull it off. One second. Give me a second. As you get there... Something flies out of you. But you flat footed. Who's that at? Not me, right? No, that's it, Gren. AC is actually pretty good when I got a shield and I'm not fatigued. Unfortunately for you. Not good enough. A crossbow flies out and collides with your shoulder. An entire crossbow, not just the bolt. The crossbow <laughs> is fired. For six damage. Ow. That's and you can hear the damage. crying. Where where did that come Very from? Loudly. Uh, from the door. Like physically through the door? There's a crack in the door and it came out the crack. Tick the door open. Give me a strength check. Nope. Unfortunately, you do not kick the door open. <laughs> not rotted or anything time, by chance. <laughs> now that you are listening and know what's going on, you can hear a crossbow being reloaded. And we we're under attack. Go into initiative. As if the crossbow bolt to his chest wasn't indication enough. Now, skeletons don't use crossbows. No, you guys can definitely hear the guy, someone crying behind that door. Could perhaps we call them? Hmm? Could we call out to them? Sure! Hello, is anybody in there? just here crying. So, what kind of door is it exactly? Is it a big stone door? No, it's a wooden door. Is there a handle? Yeah. Uh, Tenethil would like to take the full round of action to stare at Grimno like he's a fucking retard and say, why didn't you just open the door, you dumbass? Um, Eve, as you call out, you can hear... Someone speaking inside. A trick of the dead one. The dead one who speaks. No, no, I'm not dead. I was almost dead, but then I had a heal potion. But I got better. We're not dead, you imbecile. We're here trying to save something. Probably you, honestly. If we knew who the hell you are, uh, Dan will scooch you up to here. Walls are tricky and uh, open the door in front of Grid Grim and Bell. The door does not open. Motherfucker. It, it seems like it's barricade. Alright, well, uh, what exactly is the situation with the crack in the door? There's is a crack like, in the door. 
Is it like an arrow slit? Uh, wide enough for an arrow to come out of. Got it. Uh, well... So this isn't going to be like a, a, a thing that's very easily accessible in the rules or anything, but um, he's going to go ahead and I don't know, shove Grimnall's shield directly up against the hole in the thing. Okay. Which I imagine would just give him full cover. Which means right. he can't be shot. Right. You're blocking the hole. Right. Nothing's gonna shoot you through that. Perfect. Okay. So that that's that's me. And then do I have a standard action I can do still or no? Um you moved, you talked, and then your standard you took his shield and shoved it against the hole. Okay no. So no powering up the sword this time then. Right. And that's my turn. Um, since you did try to talk to him, though, uh, go ahead and give me a diplomacy check. Hey, I was hoping you'd say that. I'm good at those. Yeah. Ah, uh, very nice. Would there be an opportunity to assist after having yelled that we're under attack? Um, let me go ahead, Eve, since Eve talked to, Eve, you can go ahead and assist him if you'd like. With a diplomacy. What? Me? Yeah. Do you want to help Tanithil to pull yeah. the dice? I'm just going to repeat again that I swear to God, if you make this any harder, hmm? There we go. Very nice. But, but the angry bones! Here's your reason, man. The bones don't yell out in pain when they get shot through the door, damn it! And we've already dispatched them in any case. Come on out. <laughs> give me, give me a diplomacy check, Grin. All right. So with the three of you talking to him, you'll hear some movement. And the door will crack open. You'll see an eye by look at you. you. You're not dead. You're not angry bones. The bones. Well, if you stand there shooting the crossbow bolts, we might very well be. Oh fuck Hello. me. Uh, Tan quickly uh, has a thought, turns around and goes, Grandfather, watch the rear. <laughs> And he <laughs> backs up and scoots around the corner. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that I figured been he couldn't see him because of all the bodies. But you're confronted with this man. Oh, that is an awesome image. That's a scary looking. Frightened. Man. Is he scared? He's scared. He's really fucking scared. Does he have shivers down his spine? Who the hell are you? Uh, give me a local check. Can I just ask him? Well, uh, I mean, he's... He, he he just... He sees a look. Uh, he ro rolled out. I, I know you. you. I know you. You're from the town. The town. Yeah, I'm the from the town. Quick, 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 come inside. They're coming. They're not, are, they're are not they? coming. We dealt with as he, them. As he retreats further into the room. Grimnolf quickly uh, follows him, standing aside next to the door, you know, if there is a threat, ready to uh, address it, as everyone else crams into the room. <laughs> well, there are five of us. <laughs> I tuck myself in the corner. Close the door! Close it! Once, once everyone's, everyone's in, Grim will close the door again and lean against it with his shield over the crack, in case there's any light spilling out from this room. Oh, the walking bones. 
They attack. Yes. Gesturing to the party's collective wounds and scratches and haggard appearance. Is this not normal? We've now for this particular journey. No, no. It's supposed to be tricks, tricks, and pranks. No, Walking Dead. No. The one with the voice of death. He stalks the halls in ancient mail. So you're saying that y'all were supposed to trick us? It's the same every year. We come, we set traps, we set tricks. But this year, this year the walking bodes killed us. They attacked! Wait, you're dead? What? No. They killed us. Are you the one responsible for those orcs earlier? Orcs? What orcs? Probably someone else, I guess. They but wouldn't, just the same. They wouldn't have beaten us here. Probably. My sister! My sister's still alive. Somewhere. Well, What's first of all... Bones? First of all, who are you? Rodar. I'm from the town. I know you. You were friend. Maybe? I tricked you. We make the traps. Well, what now? We killed not many of the skeletons already. Are you there more? There's the one. The one who speaks. You'll need the shields and the keys. The what? The shields and the keys. Speak Where plainly, the man. Shields and the keys. The angry bones. Where can we find these shields and keys? In the halls, with the tricks. Your sister's probably already dead. You should make your peace with it. Wow. No, don't listen to him. He's a grumpy Gus. No. She's alive. I heard her screaming. Well, then tell us of these tricks and how to bypass them. So we know what to expect. You need the shields and the keys. And you need to go swimming. Stop speaking in riddles, man. We are here to help you and your sister. If you speak plainly, we might actually succeed in that task. But the angry bones are coming. I think he's gone mad a little bit. Where did here. he say that the shields and the keys were? He hasn't. He, he said something. It, by in, the in tricks. The hall. In, gotcha. in the halls, in the, with the tricks and the pranks. Here, take this. And he shoves a crossbow into Eve's hands. I take that. It's a masterwork crossbow. The anger bones. Well, dare stay here. Rather hide from the anger bones. And I suppose you want us to come back and get you, and we're done. Don't forget to swim. Right. It's time um, we'll roll her eyes at the mention of swimming. You wouldn't happen to be able to tell us where these tricks are, would you? No. That's part of the trial. You find the tricks, you find the pranks, but you need the shields and the keys. Yes, well, the trial has kind of been uh, cast aside, considering there is... Uh, necromancer just meandering around the halls, apparently, and reanimating all manner of bones and things. The anger bones. Yeah, Tan I'm pretty goes, sure he's mad. Yeah, Tan just kind of stares at him for a minute and says, Alright, he's useless. Let's get going, <laughs> shall we? Is there anything potentially useful in the crates in here? Oh, is there? 
like a stockpile of healing vials, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Um, here you find several bedrolls, some crates. Uh, like this was meant as a place for you guys to rest. Krim, Krim grabs an extra bedroll to replace his that's now, you know, wolf chow. Uh, among the crates, you do find three vials marked healing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead hey. and grab one of those. I'm gonna grab one too. I'm gonna <laughs> drink it right now. I'm not. Tyra uh, will grab the third one. A pair of bull's eyes lanterns with four flasks of oils. Sorry, it was bull's eye lanterns and then what? Four flask of oil. Okay, right, we don't really need the lanterns. Five days worth of rations and bedrolls. Alright. I cannot fucking roll a heal for my life. Would you like me to roll it for you instead? The GM allows it, yes. Reroll it. Thank, Thank you. you. Actually, I would like to use that bullseye lantern. Looks like it does a 60-foot cone and up to a 120-foot cone. Yeah, it's like a super-focused uh, light source. Oh, okay. I'm going to hold on to two of the lamp oils out of six of them total that we have. So we have uh, some tactical options. Okay. Now, how the fuck do I do this cone thing? Huh? It's a percent. Um, so, oh. yeah, when you look at your token's vision properties, you see that 360 mm -hmm. degrees that's grayed out? Just set that to uh, 60, was it, Mike? Yeah. Well, it goes 60, and then it dims at 60 and goes up to 120. Well, not not the distance, the cone. Uh, for the cone... I think the cones are all 45 degrees, right? Um, 30 or 45, I'm not sure. No, it would be 90 degree cones. Now I'm thinking about it. Because when you do a spell effect, it goes straight up and straight left. Well, I guess we can play with the percentage, but uh, yep. he ends up just rotating his token all around to, to shine it. It's actually a cool effect. So 60. Alright, I guess I'll put 45? Because it doesn't say. Yeah, I think it would be 90. How's that look? That'll work. It'll be really hard to tell until we get into a bigger area. Whee! That is cool. Alright. I'm like the uh, lighthouse. Yes, you are. On that note, I'm gonna beg out for the evening. Yep, I think it's a good spot. Good. We're all good. Plus, congratulations. We didn't die yet. Yay. We came close. Very right, close, close, yes. I mean, hell, uh, climbing a rope almost killed us. <laughs> to be fair, I did go about it in the dumbest way possible, but I did have fun while doing it. There you go, that's the important thing. Exactly. Well, I'm sure you did, I don't think your character did. Yes. So but for... my fun is more important than my character's fun. So for our uh, viewers oh. out there, thank you very much for joining us and for putting up with our bullshit. Have a good evening. Good evening, person. Thank you.